Y'all saying women? Y'all saying women too weak in One Piece? I don't like how that's sounding, bro. That's not. What she she could I'm me. confident nobody's gonna think that. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident <laughs> no one's gonna take that narrative. He pulls up, gotta be saved by an old man. Cobra saved his life. Sabo just took damage and left. That's it. Then, <laughs> then they're like. <laughs> He brings Kuma oh, we back. Do it this. He's like, why are you bring him back? He's dead already. Like, what's he actually going to do? <laughs> and then he, oh, and then he pulls up. And then he pulls up. And so I'm like, yo, I'm the Flame Emperor, though. Like, and that's it. That's all he got to show for is people just clout chasing on his name. But he's not doing nothing else. Yeah. Don't know Rob tell it. He'll tell you that Sabo subordinates was piecing up admirals. He'll also hold say on. that running away from the Gorosei was a feat in itself. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. After after God Usopp, like you understand, God Usopp started in Dressrosa and ended in Dressrosa. There was no other epithet. There's no other. There's no other notable moment where you can sit down and think, man, Usopp was clean there. And if you think you found one, you're reaching and you're lying because you know it's like you're in a situation, right? And this is when you know like your relationship about to be over and you're trying to find pros and cons and you're like, man, when's the last time my partner did something for me? And you you reaching back six months ago, like, oh, I remember that one time that person bought me some flowers or something like that. Because you're trying to convince yourself, you're lying to yourself in hopes that you can you can hold on when you're just delaying the inevitable. It's over. Stop. It's over. Hold on, let me get, I'm about to get headphones. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Like, it's the truth. We can break it down, arc by arc. He not lying, Moogie. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I mean, be for real. When was the besides Dress Rosa? When was the last time Usopp stunned on any significant level? Are you know what the Usopp man is gonna say? Oh, he helped uh carry Kinemon and, and Wano, and I'm like, come on, yo, are you serious, bro? Come on, I'm bro. That's what bro. they were saying in my comments. I'm like, carry Kinemon and Wano. Wano? That, that's what we're bringing up. Crazy, absolutely crazy, bro. He's one of the straw hats that actually knows hockey. So at this point, you got to show up. But only like a little bit though, okay? Like only like a smidgen of hockey we saw him do in Dress Rosa. So I mean like, you know, it's still more than the rest of the weakling trio. But I just think that Usopp's most endearing quality is that he's just a regular guy just with a bunch of lunatics that are, like clearly do more than he can and he's just you know every day he shows up for work if it was me i wouldn't even i would just be at the sunny every single day i wake up and i'd be like damn have y'all figured that shit out yet but at least he's, he bakes it off the ship i think we got to give him points for that <laughs> for making it off the ship that's how low right, the that's not the is? that's not <laughs> okay that's not Leaving i wouldn't the ship bro all right, I guess that's not, I guess maybe that's not the best opening statement that I could have given, but can, does anybody have like any favorite so, like Usopp moments? How about that? Or is it just all shame that you guys say? Is there, has there ever been a time where you guys have thought, like each one of you, if you guys thought like, damn, good shit Usopp, has there, has there ever been a time? Well, yes, there was. It was against his own captain though. That's the issue. Uh, <laughs> that was the best time he showed out. Impact dials and all. Where is that at? We're like that was bring crazy. Back, bring something it, back. That was like bring a Batman back. versus Superman fight for no reason at all. That was actually insane. Like he was no reason for him to fight that, and he has not fought that hard since. That's actually crazy. Um, I was like, pre, you know, I think JD brought it up earlier. Pre Skip Usopp was like that. He used to show up and show out every so often. Almost every arc, he had a moment, at least something that he did that was significant. Even back to Alabasta when they was talking about Luffy and his dream. Don't talk about my captain. No laugh at his dream. Like versus Mister Four and uh, what was her name? Miss Golden. I don't remember what her name. Golden Week. Miss Golden Week. Yeah. Week. Was it Golden mm -hmm. Week? Yeah. But I'm you know what I'm saying? Like there was moments like that every other arc for Usopp. It's been so long. Y'all talk. Rob's talking about Dress Rosa and JD talking about Dress Rosa. How long ago is that? Not only just in canon as far as like chapter number, but number of years. When was right. Dress Rosa week to week? That's 20... true. I would say 16? like my favorite yeah. moment is definitely pre time skip. My favorite moment ever for him is just the honestly it's in Arlong Park with the the um the fish man that he beat. The, it was the very first person that he beat. Um he chased him into the forest and I really like that moment cuz he's like crying, it's emotional. He's like he's almost like proving to himself that he can do it. I don't know. I think I thought that was endearing. But yeah, I mean I will admit there's we need more from him. I guess basically I just have like 
I've got faith that Elbaf is going to be when we see some more Usopp. Is that, do you guys at least think that? You guys think that Elbaf is going to bring us something for that? I don't believe he has a choice, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's like, where I'm at. Yeah. My point is like, he's, so I'm a, I'm a notorious famed chopper slander. I, I'd like to think besides King of Lightning, I'm the biggest chopper hater the world has ever seen. The fact that I can name notable chopper moments before I can name a notable Usopp moment since Dress Rosa means that if he does not by any standard, perform an Elbaf in any way. I'm not talking power scale. I'm talking about narrative, anything. He's below Chopper. Like, I'm telling you, he's going to the bottom, and he will stay there to the end of the series. There's nothing he can do after that. Because this is his art. He's been yapping about the Giants. Right. He's been yapping about Oymo and Cashy, Dora and Brock. He's been yapping about it for years. He's got to do something. This is his last chance. <laughs> that's what I think. Or what what happens if it isn't though? What happens then if, if literally not the happens? On a, on a slander campaign. That's it. Yeah. Just, they're going to be the worst of it. <laughs> Definitely gotta slander him. And, and I think and I think it's even more critical that Luffy has to spin back and pick Yamato up. Because I don't see how the straw hats can move forward with how like crazy like Blackbeard picked up Kuzan, right? Mm -hmm. Um even all these crews are getting Buggy has he now has Mihawk and Crocodile, right? And and even Shanks, Shanks was trying to shop for uh, Marco, but Marco turned him down. So everybody has been beefing their crews up. And then you look at the Straw Hats and there's a lot of liabilities, but Usopp sticks out the most. So I feel like if Usopp is still not doing anything post Elbath, he's got to go pick Yamato up before he, they move forward. Like, I, I think he needs, <laughs> yeah. Pick Yamato up to. and then drop Usopp off at Wano. Like, I don't know, you can do yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leave him there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So y'all bring up Yamato. I I always used to make this comparison when I swear she wouldn't join the crew, right? That mm -hmm. it would be like Katie joining the Warriors, right? I always mm -hmm. thought it would stack the deck too heavily in the Straw Hats' favor. I didn't realize they was gonna be facing up against the Dream Team, and and more than that, like in the coming arcs with the Gorose and everything going on right now. So right. I don't think we're dropping Usopp off at one or anything like that. But I agree. But I wouldn't even have shade for Usopp. I would have shade for Oda. That mm. would be... I, again, we talk about narrative. We talk about setup. We talk about build-up. JD brought it up. We've been building up Elba and the how this works for, narratively for Usopp for over, like, 900 chapters. So it's probably even longer than that. When, when was Little Garden? So yeah, so yeah, a while ago. I needed to stick. I needed to work. I needed to work narratively. I needed to work. I needed to see some power from him. I need to have an actual meaningful storyline for him, not just some sideline stuff where he's helping out. I needed to be a main character arc driven situation for Usopp. I need him to handle the situation with his father. I need all of that to come to fruition for right. me. Other otherwise Oda's don't get in my blame. I, Usopp will get the shade in the community and everything, but it's Oda that's going to be held to the fire, in my opinion, if Usopp doesn't stick the landing in Elba. But that's well, me. I'm so then, about, bro. He don't even be lying no more. Why we got faith, bro? <laughs> he don't even be lying no more. The last I mean... lie he told was that Sabo Odi Archipelago. That's not true. After the two-year time skip, where he was like, yo, I ain't a part of the weekly, uh, weekly trio no more. <laughs> that's no. not true. Like that was the last lie he told him. He opinion, lied in bro. he lied in dress rosa, but I mean and he lied he his ass off in Wano. He was a snake oil salesman. He yeah, was just he telling like, yeah, he, he lied to a little girl. Yeah. Say, and the little girl tried to heal her dad her based dead, on a uh, lie. I'm, that shit was hilarious. He was yeah, crying. He was like, Tom, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> Girl, All Usopp's dude. lies come true. That lie didn't come true. I hate that gimmick. It's a bad gimmick. It's a bad gimmick. All Usopp's lies come true. It's not real. That's not. It's a lie. My, my greatest aspiration for him is just to hook up with Kaya at the end, bro. But that don't look. That don't look possible either, bro. Because I agree. But we get it. Like he's. But he's still like written well, right? Like like he's still like a consistent character. It's just like the character himself like needs to do more. That's what we're all. We're all on the same page with that, right? I think there's well, been like, a regression in his writing as well. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. How so? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it, go ahead. Go ahead, Seth. All right. So a lot of the point of Usopp is that he has this huge cowardice moment, right? At mm. some point in the arc, and then he overcomes it by the end of the arc. He does mm. something to re right that wrong. In in Dressrosa, right? We keep talking about it. It was the oh, I'm terrified. He ran away, leaving Robin. Granted, he didn't remember her, but 
he he left the Tantadas, everything, right? Mm. And then he spins the block to help them out, to overcome the sh- great show of cowardice. We haven't had that great show of, like, confidence to, like, combat the great shows of cowardice that we've seen over the past two arcs. I mean, he wasn't in Whole Cake, but in Wano, it wasn't great. And in, in, El- in Egghead, I saw literally nothing. He had the worst performance. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. All the shots. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. he was the terrified yeah. one. He was the Nami. You should have given Luffy. You should have said what he she wanted you to say. Like I expected Usopp to say do something to retroactively to to correct that that fear that cowardice. And he didn't do anything in Wano other than carry Hikinamo, which is nothing. I'm sorry, that's nothing to me. So I mean, he shot the dongo. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <bro. laughs> We gotta go at least Listen, that happened. Otama put in more work. Way. Otama put in more work and she's six. She's she's braver than Usopp. She hey, went yeah. to only got you, man, her own volition. <laughs> yes. That is crazy. She is six. That is you actually know, crazy. You know some of the things some of the things we used to like praise Usopp for pre time skip is like you know how Usopp always used to take a beating? Mm. Even though he's brave and he's weak, he would take a beating. Like even even in Dress Rosa, he took a beating. When's the last time you seen him take a real beating? When's the last time you seen him like you can give him maybe what well, ulti headbutt him like once, like once or twice yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 Nami yeah. got headbutt like eight times and she's still staying on business. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, yo, she got a lie. She got a lie. Nigga, what you? yo, why don't you pull up? Why don't you try and save her? Talk about you got a lie. It's like it's moments, it's moments like that that frustrate me because it's like I agree with with, with Seb when he said it's not even that his character is like consistent, it's stale. Like Usopp is a stale character. It's like, mm. um, how many times are we gonna realize? Okay, I'm scared. He's got the same scared gimmick. He's uh, he's not even like standing up to be brave. Like his biggest moment in Wano is him telling the samurai to not die. I'm like, all right, congratulations. Like somebody else could have said the exact same thing, and it didn't mean anything. Like Usopp turned into an NPC at that moment. Mm. I'm just like, well, are we just gonna get NPC Usopp? Are we gonna get Usopp the character at some point? So I, I will say that moment in Wano, as far as character writing, I'm glad it came from Usopp because his whole ideology is the exact opposite of what the Wano people have lived or been trying to do. Oh, I'm gonna die for honor, die for honor, I die for honor. That's the it, Usopp's whole character spits in the face of that, which is why I think him dying in some way could potentially make his character full story, full circle. Like work. I don't think Oda's gonna because the, here's the thing. Like I really feel like if any of the straw hats die i think luffy's just done i think luffy's gonna be like i don't i don't i don't want to do i don't want to do this anymore i know that breaks all of your well, guys when, heart, i honestly. feel like yasop would crash out i don't know i don't think I he don't would I don't think, <laughs> I, I don't think i definitely would for real you, you think he, if, if, no, if no. Died, no, Usa, for real no. you think you would just be like all right it's all good he, said, he yeah he'd be like no son of mine would die on the sea not me that's yeah, crazy. Crazy. Bro, yo, bro. That's what is a, what is a yasop <laughs> crash out Regarding Usopp, <laughs> like, what are you talking bro, I, about? Yasop, what you mean? Yo, Yasop, Yasop crashed out when Usopp was born. What do you mean he gonna crash out when <laughs> Usopp dies, bro? What and when Usopp, Usopp was almost yeah. coming to get him, he was like, "Well, wait, wait, yeah, when say, he was bro. coming to get him, oh, he about uh, to find me. Hold on, I, I ain't ready to see my son yet." Like, listen, that's, listen, that's all I'm gonna crazy. say is Dragon got a lot of flag for that. You know what I'm saying? And Dragon pulled up in, in Logtown when it was time. Oh God, so, bro. so you never I know. Mean. It could be a situation where Yasan may be like, "Oh, I sense my son's in danger for real, for real." Let me let me slide out. You know, you never know. I'll, I'll about to ask Bob a real personal question. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was you about to say, Bob? You got too much hope in Debbie Daddy. Bro. I don't know what it is, bro. I mean, man, Rob, your daddy in life, man. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? <laughs> yes, sir. I- yes. Yes. Don't give him some respect. Don't give him about Yasop, man. It could happen though. He could save Usopp, maybe, I guess. You know, I could I could see that. But like I always wish I or not like I wish that the One Piece characters were more like like we were like if I was Luffy, I would dead like I don't think I don't know how mad I would be at Garp, but that's another like family relationship that I would be like like I want them to like like air out their grievances, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, it's One Piece and Luffy doesn't really care. And I guess Usopp doesn't really care either. I don't know how he feels about his dad. Like, do we have any dialogue that tells us how he feels about Yasop? Yeah, he said it in a pre-time skip. He said he respected him. 
Yeah, but I you talking about when they first like uh before they recruited him, right? In Serve Village? Yeah. He was saying like how his dad was like a great pirate and he went after like the things that he wanted to I after. feel like that's some yeah. shit you say before you realize your dad is a deadbeat loser. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's some shit that you yep. say before <laughs> you know how big of a piece of shit your dad is. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. Mm -hmm. No, you're yeah. right. That's what you know it's what I'm like, saying? It's like when it's like when you get whooped by your mom. But your dad never there. So like yeah. you cry out for your dad. You know what I'm saying? Cause he yeah. can save you from her. I that's, bet that's the type of like mentality that Usopp got. Yeah, and I bet like as soon as the I think it wasn't immediate, but as soon as the time skip happened and he was in the new world, Usopp would have been like, you know, it's kind of crazy. That <laughs> nigga really never came back. That's actually he crazy. Never. He didn't send a letter. He didn't do nothing. Uh, no sending a letter is crazy. Kuma sent Bonnie a letter like every fuck, like as as often as he could. Yasa was even like, real dad. "Yo, my, yeah, exactly." Is, it's not even just that he left, right? Yasa was like an island over, chilling with some other <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> like, like he was right there, bro. Like it wasn't like he ended up going far, yeah. But he was chilling in, in Fuchsia Village. Like, hey, man, this, the the the. The beer here really good. It's 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 up. We partying. Bro. Your son right there. I mean, well, well, what are we doing right now? Are we shooting Usa some bail by saying, hey, you know, his dad wasn't there he, for he him. He got so. daddy issues. That's for that is canon. Like that's literally yeah. canon. I bet. Then that and that yeah. goes along with how he approaches everything in life. He don't have the backbone because his daddy wasn't ever around. So he just like and his mom neither, to be honest. Like he literally I has his fathers, bro. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, they he, like him. <laughs> Hey, he he grew up just lying to a bunch of kids. That's all he knew was lying to people. And then, you know, Luffy and them came on the island and he was like, yeah, I'm going to be a brave warrior of the sea. Come to find out, that's way harder than just saying you're going to be a brave warrior of the yeah, sea. Got his ass bro. whooped on every island he went to. So that's, I see him as a very sympathetic character. If, 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 if my daddy left me on an island with my sick and dying mother and never called me back. I don't think I would jump to hate immediately. No, it would take me years. Come to time skip, I'd be right there though. I'd be like, yeah, that, I'm ready to go to Elbath now. <laughs> I'm ready to see, I'm ready to see y'all so. We don't give Usopp's mom enough hate, bro. Cause she seemed like a bad mom. Hate? Like, Hate. Oh, what is yeah, what is bro, what, what are you about to mom. say? What are you talking bro. about? What wait, 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 about, like bronchitis within the last three months in this parish? Nah, bro. Stop tell your kid to stop lying, bro. Terrorizing the town. You could have got up and spanked him sometimes, oh, man. Yo, Larry is out of power. Nah, bro. She did the best she could. Listen, yeah, bro, there's a lot of single moms <laughs> who hold down the fort better than like she did, bro. This man, what's going on? Was Usopp not eating every day? We don't know that. Was he not clothed? He had a house, he had a home to go back to every day? Wait a minute. Property? So, I'm, Listen, bro, I'm fucking, I'm bro, flabbergasted. Wait a minute. So, Listen, bro, out, Outlook's, Outlook's, Outlook and his wife was a better, was better parent oh to Sabo than Usopp's mom was to him, bro. She was dying, Larry. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. We, we saw her dying, dying for like a month, bro. She couldn't have been sick the whole time. I mean, I guess I don't know what fictional pirate disease she got, but who says that she fictional. she couldn't have been? Like, it's... Where was she lacking as a parent, bro? Where was the step? He, she wasn't out there. This man, Larry, looked at a sick and dying woman and was like, because pull yourself together. together. <laughs> Disgrace. Pull you yourself. That? Raise that's your lion-ass kids. That's like, a crazy I, agenda, bro. That's <laughs> insane. That's the next level. That's the next level. Usopp's mom is trash. I've never heard that take before. Have you held that inside he this whole time play. larry where did that come he from he could have been eating in the streets bro we don't know bro we ain't seen so you know what know. we ain't seen which, no food which, on that table ever bro wow. okay so which one which one is worse which one do you subscribe to more chopper killed his real dad or that Usa's mom is trash which one do y'all subscribe to bro? chopper killed his dad well, yeah you gotta go chopper. whatever larry on is crazy I was about to say, like, I don't even, I don't even need to know. Yeah, exactly. I'm right there. I was like, no, nah, yeah, I'll, I'll get on board. Yo. Chopper killed his dad then. Chopper dad can walk <laughs> into this door right now and I'd still be like, yo, what you just said, because what Larry talking about is wild. That's insane. OD. That's insane. Yeah. I wish Oda could hear that. Like, you thought that, what? That's like, that's <laughs> like you. So when you saw Sanji's second backstory, did you blame Sanji's mom too? For fucking, fuck <laughs> Yo, Loki, you're mad. Oh, hell Loki no. What are you mad. talking about? What the fuck? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Yo, yes. Yo, Sam, get your man, Sam. Bro, she could have left Judge. 
This man. Oh, man. The warmongering clone creator. No, I, I'm not yeah, about to get man, into the the yeah, dynamics yeah, of yeah, domestic yeah. abuse or, 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 yeah, or anything bro. right now, Larry. I'm just going to say maybe it wasn't that easy. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, maybe I it saw wasn't. Two six year old children bro. almost escaped by themselves. You, she you, couldn't escape. You a victim blamer, bro. I was about to say that. I was like, I don't I understand like, what she. I feel there's like no way. Have choices and they choose to stay when you don't got them. You know what I'm saying? This man no, talking, bro. Choice. This, this coming from someplace personal. Her. Hell no, hell no. Wait a minute. This is coming from. You see what he just said? You hear what he just said? This coming from someplace personal. He said, no, nah, no. Nah, it's people. I don't like people that make their decisions and don't do nothing to get out of it. I was like, hold on, Larry. I'm a believer that you could leave any situation you don't need to be a part of, bro. And she had options. She just chose to stay, bro. Was she not guarded by his like? Clone security. What options are out? you talking about? What, what, you, what options did she have? She was no, something a suicide. She could have left, bro. She could have found a way. Two six-year-olds found a way out of there. That's because like, that's because nobody loved Sanji, them. That's just not because it was easy. Leave. That's because yeah. Might actively <laughs> let Sanji leave because yeah. he saw him leaving. He went. Yeah, bro, leave and don't yeah. come back and don't let <laughs> don't nobody know that yeah. not doing that for Sora. That's neglect. That's, that's not. That's that's yeah. not. Sora was easily replaceable, bro. Oh, yo, Jesus. oh my God, <laughs> replaceable? What do you mean replaceable? What does yo. that mean? Yo, he probably could have cloned Sora. Yo, <laughs> I can't. I can't, man. <laughs> I can't. What agenda is this? I don't understand. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, cloned Sora, bro. That's a judge, but that has nothing to do with her and her ability to leave. Yeah, bro. She could have took her kids, man. You're telling her. You're telling me she should have pitched the idea that she should be saying cloned. Y'all saying women? Y'all saying women too weak in One Piece? I don't like how that sounding, bro. That's not. What she could have. Uh, I'm confident know. nobody's gonna think that. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident <laughs> no one's gonna take that narrative. I'm crazy. I ain't signing up for no after like noon program. You don't know that though. Nothing, bro. I, you like you blaming her for not it. taking Usopp to the YMCA? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, like, I, don't, like, I don't see it. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm, about to go, I'm about to go back and read. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. I'm about to go back and read she this. wasn't always sick, bro. How do you <laughs> know that? <laughs> no one knows That's that. Saying, you like, couldn't tell me? Oh. <laughs> You legitimately could not tell me right now when Yo, he contracted her. Larry got my camera dropping and all that, bro. Listen, if y'all gonna say Crazy. that she was sick the whole time, then y'all suck worse than we thought, bro. He preying on weak, like, <laughs> immune system to women at that time, man. Right? I mean, I... I, I, I'm flabbergasted. I truly don't even. I, this feels like a hate you've decided, Larry. I won't even lie. Oh, this feels man. like, I don't think we can talk you down from this. So I'll I just. This is happening right now. <laughs> Larry hate Usopp so much yeah, that it spread to the rest of the family. <laughs> and I've never seen nothing like it, bro. Yeah, That's I actually... Usopp, bro. I wish he would die. Damn, like, he damn, die. chill out. Okay, wow. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Oh, wow. Like, even when, when Luffy is tired of Usopp and tells him he should have beat that large cat in Elba. Yo, bro, that, yo, that was it for me, bro. I was like, yo, at this point, what is he on the crew for, bro? You talking about it in his lobby when, when he was with the, like with the is cat immediate like, relief. Okay, so, oh, okay, but we got Brooke, so like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Brooke would have beat that so cat. Like, Brooke did way more than Brooke has taken out Brooke like beat the cat. a yeah, yeah. He took out a giant and like seven other uh, gifters with one attack. And you know what's crazy so, about this? Oh, go ahead, Jay. My fault. No, go ahead. Yeah. I no, I was just gonna say the the Usa fans for the most part got upset with me calling Usopp out, right? But when you, even when you're talking about Brooke and Sanji and like those characters do not even have a combat role on the crew. Usopp's role on the crew is literally a combat role. And it's like, they're upset that we don't want to see Usopp be the, the jester. You know, he's just the, the clown of the crew. Like we want to see him actually snipe, actually put in work. You see what Yasop's doing? Just give us a quarter of Yasop and we'll be okay. But it looks like they just want him to be, you know, the camaraderie. He wants to build the camaraderie and the morale. It's like, we don't need that now. We're we're competing for the One Piece. That's true. That is true. So, so let's get into this, because you you said the magic words, right? Usopp, his character, we're talking about his role, right? And I said, what does Usopp do? And you're like, okay, Usopp's a handyman. You don't need him. We got Frankie, right? Okay. Mm. Comedic relief. 
bunch of the straw hats are funnier than him, period. I'm like, all right, bet. There's a lot of cowards out there. Nami's a coward. Chopper's a coward. Chopper standing up to Queen. Nami beating Giants. I'm like, okay, so what's the gimmick that Usopp... What's the one thing that Usopp is supposed to have that separates him from the straw hats? He's a sniper. He don't snipe nothing. He shoots plants and he shoots bamboo shoots. And people want to give him credits for breaking a mirror in the last chapter. Garp could have thrown a cannonball and broke the same mirror. Zoro could have sent a slash and broke the same mirror. That's not a sniping feat. The last time he actually sniped somebody was Sugar when he learned observation hockey right. for the timeline. That was 10 years ago. 10 years ago he learned observation hockey. 10 years ago was the last time he used it. For someone who is a sniper and your eye is your most important asset, he has not used his eyes in 10 years. I like the, I mean, God, look at, um, in this lobby, Sanji was like, there's only something you can do. Bro stood up shooting CP9, uh, CP9 agents from the gates of justice. That's elite top shelf sniper feet. Usopp hasn't come close to that. And that's pre time skip. So what does he do? He gets rid of his weapon. He gets God, whatever that thing is. And he's shooting out seeds and garden plants. So I'm at the point where I'm like, listen, put the slingshot down, either go back to the pre time skip uh, slingshot or just get a gun one way or another. <laughs> start sniping something, do something right. else. What you're doing isn't working. And we're not. And, and I think it's like Usopp had so much. He did so much pre time skip that we've given him a pass. That's the right. This is why the Usopp slander is coming out now because we're opening our eyes slowly. And then I think it was once El Baf is here, we're just like, oh, wait, Usopp, wait a minute, Usopp, Usopp. Oh, you ain't done shit in a minute. <laughs> <That's>, everyone's <laughs> everyone's right. realizing Usopp hasn't done shit in 10 years. That's why everyone is slandering him now because they're realizing that he's been working off the credit he built up in pre time skip because he was good. So now it's like, bro, you got to start sniping. You got to start being brave. At least get your ass beat or something. Like, you got to do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd love, uh, love to see him bring the impact dials back. or the, That would be cool, too. Like, just something. The problem yeah. is that you know, the One Piece world just got, like, in the, especially in the new world, shit just got too big. It used to be he was in, when he was an inventor in the East Blue and when we were going out in the Grand Line, that was... That was when Usopp was like Batman with like prep time and like, but even then I do have to admit the one time where he was actually like fighting like he was Batman, that was against Luffy, which to this day, I, mm -hmm. I think Luffy has to take personally. You've never seen him fight that hard. And then, like, he fights yes. you that hard. That's what like, I'm saying, bro. I, yes. I, I would take that so personal. I'd be like, Usopp, we was just in Alabasta. We was fighting for the nation. I didn't see you fight that hard. Hold on. Yes. You, you don't be seeing Usopp fight, but we see it. And you're yeah. right. To this day, that's the hardest he's ever fought anybody. Yes. To be, to, to be fair, crazy. though, in Alabasta, he did fight pretty. He fought with Chopper. That was pretty good because he got his ass whooped and he, like, persevered. Oh, actually, he had a really good moment in Alabasta. I, I actually didn't on. remember this. Movie. There's a difference between how much you got chipped up and you clutching and how hard you were actually fighting. He was full scouting yeah. report, I mean, full yeah. laying traps. Doing all oh, yeah. of this. No, that's he's true. not necessarily in the scenario to do that, but he's not once put all of that stuff together in another I fight. Not one time. Yeah. So it is kind of crazy. No, put the effort true. in. That's it. But again, y'all y'all blaming Usam. It's Oda fault. <laughs> y'all blaming Usam. It's all Oda, bro. He can get these little one-off fights where he does this. So here's the thing. It's Oda's fault. But the thing is, it's always Oda's fault because he's writing the story. I think we punish Oda by slandering these characters specifically. Like, mm. hey, he's trash. That's it. Usopp mm. is trash. We know Oda's writing it, but if you're just looking at Usopp, a standalone, he's trash. Point blank, period. It's just, he's not good. He's not. It's like, it's so funny. We Zoro fans, oh, I, I love, I love ruining Zoro fans' day. Did y'all actually think King was cool, bro? Like, was King really, like, was he really that interesting of a fighter? Was King versus Zoro, even a good fight. I mean, in the anime, yeah, in the anime, anime. Oh, yeah. anime. I was about to say, I was about to say, like, and but the yeah. anime they throw a little extra on it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. with Garp versus Kuzan, it was a great fight already in the manga. It's just the anime made it like top five, right? When we're talking about like King and Zoro, I'm, I promise you, I'm going somewhere here. Zoro's a swordsman, right? 
Zoro ain't fought a swordsman since Das Bones, or maybe that ghost Ryuma and Thriller Bark. He ain't thought a real swordsman. Oh, you know, I guess you can count the octopus and Fishman Island, but it's a little Mickey Mouse. But like, yeah. the, the, the point I'm saying is, King wasn't really a swordsman at all. The fight was kind of, eh, it was more about King of Hell, all that other stuff, fine. With Usopp, has he been in a sniping battle? Has his sniper skills actually been tested and compared to anybody else? The that, daddy father thing. Yeah, that one filler episode. Filler though, right? That's what really? said daddy yeah. master said yo. Daddy yeah. father, right? Yeah. Back, back, yeah. back, back in the day. Mm -hmm. Because even think about it. Look at um Chopper. Look at Chopper and Caesar. Punk Hazard wasn't even really about Chopper, but because it was Caesar, because it was medicine, it was the children, Chopper had a heavy focus in it, right? That was mm. important. Nami, Nami's just really one of the main characters, so we can't really compare her. But overall, the point I'm trying to say is Usopp, until he gets a very specific character focus, or there is someone in the story in Elbaf that will allow Usopp to bring out who he really is, one of my favorite things is uh, the Frankie family. He was fighting over that ship, and what whatever they did to him, bro, they terribly, they beat his ass, they stomped on him. You saw foot marks on his body. Like, they left him for dirt, but you know he fought for it, right? That's the thing that, it's like, he looked pathetic, and then he started crying, I'm useless, I'm trash. You really felt it because he tried. He tried everything he could, and they stomped him out. Right. We haven't had a moment like that for Usopp, so no character moments. That we've gotten up to that point no sniping feats barely any narrative importance whatsoever and then you know you're talking about the wano speech and it's against his philosophy like i get that but at the same time when you think about that as a standalone it's like yeah but we're reaching it's not it's not it's not a moment where i'm like man that is a definitive Usopp moment. It's something that you got to think about. Like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of his philosophy. Yeah. Oh, they didn't even harp on that. It was just Usopp saying what we all were thinking. Like, stop dying for no reason. So, like, I'm really looking forward to getting that moment in Elbaf in any capacity. Any of the examples that I mentioned, he needs a semblance of that for his character to be saved. Because it's in jeopardy. I do I need think... To punch yeah. in the face. Yeah, that's I mean, really it. that would be. Like but do you think you'd be mad at it, at Alsep, like at all, or do you think that's just gonna be like a hey, my, my, my dad? My fear, my fear is that Oda brushes it under the rug as if it was nothing. That's oh, my yeah, fear. Going. That's my legitimate. fear. I think he's going that, to. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna run. He's gonna see him, and it's just gonna be all happiness. It's all dad. Like I love you. Like it's okay. And I'm gonna be like yo, f f Usopp's entire character at that moment. That's I, my fear. Uh, but I feel I hope not. But I, I I'm assuming that Usopp's gonna meet Yasop, you know, the same time Shanks uh, I mean Luffy gives the hat back to Shanks or whatever. So it's all gonna come together. Like everybody's gonna get their, you know, their their little moment to shine and, and you know, reconcile, whatever. So I, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen just because, you know, I think the bigger moment's gonna be Luffy giving the straw hat back to Shanks. But you know, I think Yasop and Usopp are gonna have their moment. They need to. They just, man, that would be so bad if he doesn't, man. That'll, I think he probably really will. Bad. I I don't want to see that, but I just don't. I think he's probably just going to sweep it under the rug. I don't think I think he's going to make it to be like, you know, Usopp actually doesn't have any hard feelings, which I don't I want cuz it's just more drama and more interesting if he does like have at least some complicated feelings for his dad that he left. I mean, you, you like your dad leaves you and your mom's dying. Like, and then he just never comes back. Like, that would be... for uh, And honestly, imagine if it was flipped and it was Bonnie in that same situation. She was a little bit mad at Kuma for a while because she thought that Kuma never came back. And so, like, that was reasonable until she found out that that wasn't the case. So I think it's incredibly realistic for Usopp to be angry or to have some sort of complicated, like, feelings. But I just... The way that Oda writes, I really feel like... I, I can't imagine, like... Usopp actually being angry or Luffy actually being angry. I feel like they're just going to be like, you know, they're the kind, lighthearted people that they are, which I don't know. I hope it doesn't happen, but I really don't like see Oda creating that kind of drama for some reason. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't think I don't think uh, Usopp's going to be angry just because like he he's already not giving off that, ener that energy. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Yasop is going to be more the one that's going to be like, all right, there may be some guilt or whatever on his end it's that would make sense yeah explaining himself to usopp or maybe we're gonna get like a little flashback of like what really happens why he made the the decision to not 
come back. Like, we may get a little something from Yasop's end, but it's going to be less on Usopp. I think it's going to be more on, on, on finding out about Yasop. Yo, like, after that man. retcon in Yasop's decision to leave, he a piece of trash, bro. That's it. But, <laughs> but, my, again, like you said, it doesn't seem that Usopp has any sort of real negative, like, connotations towards his father, which right. I have mixed feelings about personally. Again, it's not his character to hate Yasop, but if Oda just tries us to, to get this, like, Yasop tells Usopp he's like a brave warrior of the sea, and that's the culmination. Like, yo, he the worst character in the series, bro. And mm. I and I wholeheartedly mean that. If that's what we get, if that's all it if that's all it is, all of this was just so that Yasop could tell Usopp that he's brave and he respects him. And Usopp is now this like, oh man, I did it. I accomplished my dream. Like, no, bro. I need way more than that. Rob don't respect all that I at said all, was Dragon did come back and protect Luffy early on in the series. He did do that. You gotta, well, the get, you gotta give him that. Low. You gotta <laughs> the give him lowest that. the stakes have been in years. I mean, the bar is low. I, I mean, I feel like, I don't I don't know. Is anybody really about to like defend Dragon? I don't know. I don't think that I have it in me, we're, we're to be Rob honest. We're Rob that on your camera. We're Rob that on your camera. Wait, is this an Utah yeah, video or a Dragon video? Yeah, I mean, yeah, go yeah, to Dragon. That guy right there. <laughs> that guy right there will defend you. <laughs> Well, that's why I thought Rob was going to defend Usopp, because he'd be shamelessly defending the Gorosei, of all people. And then, like, I guess Dragon 2, apparently? Not, what no, you no, got no, to? No, 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 not their character, Jay. I, I want Jay to think oh, I was okay. defending the Gorosei's character. All I'm right. making this face over Dragon. I'm just still, I, just, I don't know how you can defend Dragon. I, that's I what I want to hear. What you got to, how, what, what you got to say about Dragon, Rob, actually? So my, my, my position on Dragon has always been that he is the literal opposition to the marines and the and the world government so everybody wants dragon to pop out like he's luffy and go out and do all these amazing things and it's like he has a different role because he's opposing an entire political organization just how you see a kainu can't just jump off the front lot jump out to the front lines he's a fleet admiral sengoku couldn't really do the same dragon is also that the opposite he's on the opposite side of the coin for the Revolutionary Army. And the thing is, is that he was in the Marines. He has a history with the Admirals. He has a history. His dad is literally still in the Marines as we speak. So if you're looking at all the stuff that, that Dragon knows, he was he literally was on Alhara. You could point back to Dragon realizing that he has bigger fish to fry. There's a lot of stuff that he has to take care of. He can't just run out and be Garp and Luffy and just be all willy-nilly free world like not nah, he has to really organize and hold remember they were the freedom fighters first they didn't even have bread they had no money no resources and, and they and he had to build the freedom fighters from the ground up for the bigger role for the bigger role of of freeing the world. that's his goal to take down the marines and the world government so even if like and, and listen I, I i'm not condoning him not taking care of luffy right i'm not condoning that but what i'm saying is even in the midst of him building the revolutionary army, when Luffy was truly in danger, Dragon did come back and get him and, and, and protect him. So it's not like, you know, Dragon, the whole theory is that Dragon's always looking east, right? Because he's worried about Luffy. Am I lying, Seb? He's always looking east because he's worried about Luffy. That That's Emporio Ivanko. That's the words that came out of his mouth. So that's why I feel like, I get I get certain criticisms, but I'm like, let's just wait and hold on. I feel like Dragon knows a lot of stuff. He's been on Ohara. He talked to Vegapunk already. He's he's contending against the Marines in the world government, right? You can't just expect him to just be like, all right, you know, Kuma got Kuma got, you know, his situation. We just found out about Kuma, right? So Dragon has to move a little more carefully than Luffy and Garp. That's the only reason why I'm like I can't kill him the way <clears throat> my bad. I can't kill him the other, the way other people are killing him. That's the only thing. So, Yo, Rob, so I, I get everything that you just said, and I don't even have an issue with that. But you gotta understand, we read in a thousand plus chapter chapter epic that glorifies all the opposite traits in people. Luffy is the exact opposite of that, and that's who we've been following for a thousand plus chapters. That's who we gravitate to. I read this. Because I want to see dudes crash out like Luffy do. That's why I'm here. The best, most hype, interesting, uh, page-turning moments of the series was Luffy doing some sh that did not take calculation, that did not take waiting, that did not take, oh, I have to prepare for this. 
It's him going, yo, in the moment, I'm crashing out because people I care about are in danger. So when yeah. I see his dad doing the exact opposite of that, it's just not entertaining to me. It's not. It's mysterious. It's I get it. I understand it. I'm not going to care for him. And you know what makes it worse? At the end of the day, he's not going to accomplish his dream. Luffy's going to accomplish it for him by being the version of him that he's always been. And you know that too. So all that building and prepping and pre pre preparedness and, and oh, well, I had to let it slide for this reason or that reason. End of the day, when it comes down to it, to actually do what needs to be done, it's going to be Luffy who does it and not Dragon. So Dragon's not going to play a big role in the final war? I'm saying he's not going to play a big role, but he's going to be the wiper. He's going to be the the oh. the the, the Pauly, bro. Nah, uh, bro. I probably might be too disrespectful. Yeah. Yo, nah, oh, Seth, Seth, come on, bro. Pauly, Pauly. Bro, a Pauly name bro. drop, bro, in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Wow. That's crazy. Jay, you see I'll that, yo? Pauly, bro. <laughs> yo. He, shout out to Koza, man. Listen, you feel me? That, my issue with Rob's points are that they are valid, yet they don't get any credibility for being valid to the T. Why? Because at the end of the day, Bucky has done more with the Cross Guild towards the Marines than Dragon ever has. Dragon in the series isn't even the, he isn't even a better revolutionary than Koza from Alabasta. There's like legitimate arguments to where even Sabo himself has done more than Dragon has ever done in his whole career and is profiting off of it now, right? But there's also one more. You tried to point out that he has all this knowledge, yet Avonkov had to tell him that there was an ancient weapon that's still around and the Rona dynasty existed. Dragon was like, yo, I know about the Holy Knights, though. I don't care, bro. What <laughs> you don't care about Knights? the Holy Knights? Yo, I don't do care, mean? bro. That's major, but that's what I'm... But Damn, Larry. He introduced, he's he introducing characters that still get no relevance even today after they were mentioned. Like... They, they might have no both. impact. Remember what you're saying when the Holy Knights pop out. I'll tell you what you're saying. Remember what you're saying when the Holy Knights pop out. Goofy, run this <laughs> clip when the Holy Knights pop out. Run this clip. <laughs> more relevant information. The ancient weapon, Emu's existence, the Narona family, or the Holy Knights. If you were to rank the importance of that information, the Holy Knights is fourth, bro. It just is. You can't be surprised when somebody else says something in your crew that you are supposedly the leader of, bro. You're supposed to be all-knowing. You've been a freedom fighter for 33 years. You spoke to Vegapunk, but you don't know about Uranus' existence? You don't know about the anything else? Well, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. So are we going to sit here and act like people aren't reporting to Akainu when he's Fleet Admiral or people aren't reporting to Sengoku when he's Fleet Admiral because they're they're dealing with other things? Are we going to act like... No, no but we're also not going to so, give Akainu credit for having basic I information. Do. A holy yeah, knight exists? That's not grand yeah. girl's information to have, bro. Hold, hold, you used yo, to be a Alright, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, yo, let's, 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 let's do this. give Akainu credit for that. Let's, let's, yo, let's, I just need Akainu on. top one all over the web. Yo, let's, I'll give Akainu credit for that. I, I, cause I can see both, I can see both sides of the argument. I, I really can. But let's see, Jay, what do you, I mean, I don't know. You, whose side are you on in all this? What do you have to say about this? I just need Dragon to do something. That's all, that's all I've ever asked for, to do something. I haven't got one speech from this man. He's a leader, but we have not had one speech. Not even an example of his leadership. It's just him staring east, triple dots, maybe a witty one liner here or there. Maybe one interesting tidbit, like I'm with him with the Holy Knights. Oh, there's Holy Knights. And what? What else? Can I get a name? <laughs> Can we get a picture? <laughs> he just got a silhouetted background. No, watch out for those Holy Knights. That well, is all you know, it could just yeah. be fodder. We don't know anything about him. I'm with you there. I just feel like so if, it's, yeah. it just needs to be something like my only the only thing I don't want to because I'm sorry, I don't want to, I don't want it to seem like we just jumping on you, Rob, but it sounds like don't nobody fuck with him. So let me just say that um <laughs> <laughs> like Rob don't even mess yeah. with him deep down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rob, deep down Rob, Rob don't even fuck with him. But yeah. like Rob I, just messes with Salvo. Which in turn means he messes with Dragon. That's it. That's the correlation. I mean, hey, that's loyalty. It's no matter, it's no matter how strong Mihawk may be, Zoro is always going to show how strong Mihawk is going to be. That's his. That's his whole shtick right now. My problem is because I see it from both sides. I I completely agree with Rob that Oda's not going to waste 
uh, Dragon's character. So when he comes into the story, he's going to make us, he's going to come into it in a way that's believable for why he took so long to actually get active. And there's going to be a bunch of people that forgive him. My thing is, every time he says something about taking action, I, I don't believe it. Like he always like the last panel we had of him was him saying the Holy Knights, the Holy Knights are about to mobilize. And I knew we were not going to come back to him after that. I knew Oda was going to be like, and that's all the dragon you get for the rest of 2024. He's just sitting on that beach, <laughs> just staring at nothing. Yeah. Like, I don't believe him anymore. And it's like, I just feel like if we just saw him at least like tell us what his powers are. If you would just give us like, if they would have given us a sneak peek a long time ago, I feel like nobody would be on his ass. It's the fact that we, he showed up, blew some wind at Smoker, and we didn't even know who the fuck he was. And then Garp was like, oh yeah, that's your daddy. And then he was just like, he came out and then looked east again and said, that's fine, Luffy, be a pirate. We left the story again. The whole time in the middle of Marineford, Ace is dying. Everybody's fighting their hearts out. He's looking, not east, I guess. He's looking somewhere else. Doesn't see any of that going on. And then, like, we, and then now, and the, now we're supposed to, like, believe that, you know, like Seb said, you know, it's a, it's a thousand episodes and everything like that. My issue is just, what have you been doing for the rest of these episodes? Like, if you mobilize at the bottom half of the entire story, we are going to lock in. I don't think Oda's going to waste him, but I just, like, I got to see what you've been doing this whole time, man. Like, I have to see it. Bro, all I'm saying is Sabo's name rings bells, right? Everybody's talking about Sabo being the Flame Emperor, right? Yeah. But you don't think, but I'm, I'm saying, but you don't think Dragon is, is saying, oh, Sabo, let's make these plays. It's just, it's just Sabo just saying, yo, I got this. Watch out, Dragon. I got this. Like, Drag, Dra go ahead, Jay. To defend you, because Brago brought this up when we when we did a collab one time, and he like really slandered Sabo. It shook my spirit because I've never seen someone slander Sabo the way he did. But he said like, "What did Sabo really do? Like he didn't fight any of the admirals. When we saw it, he didn't fight no admirals. He pulls up, gotta be saved by an old man. Cobra saved his life. Sabo just took damage and left. That's it. Then, <laughs> then they're like." He brings Kuma oh, back, doing this. and he's like, why are you bringing him back? He's dead already. Like, what's he actually going to do? And then, he, oh, and then he pulls up, and then he pulls up, and someone's like, yo, I'm the Flame Emperor, though. Like, and that's it. That's all he got to show for is people just clout chasing on his name. But he's not doing nothing else. Yeah. He's just taking credit for something he didn't do. Like, no, that's the crazy no, part. It's like, all he did was it. crash out. <laughs> Don't know Rob tell it. He'll tell you that Sabo subordinates was piecing up admirals. No. Yo, if you let Rob tell it, you let Rob tell it. You also hold say on. that running away from the Gorosei was a feat in itself. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 but I'm saying, I'm saying, which ten character toes like this? This what ten toes look like, bro. Bro, this is, this is you ain't see the anime. You don't see the anime, bro. He was limping out of there. He wasn't even on his ten toes, yo. Come on, on. Jay. Jay, it's emo. It's a, it's attack from emo. Hold on, we just saw bro. Joy Boys hockey. Oh, stop! We I can't breathe. Oh, stop, please. For this is somebody that emo. emo. These other other actually great people, man. <laughs> but emo, oh, man. all right. So emo not in the conversation with Joy Boy. <laughs> what, are we, what are we saying? <laughs> Sabo took a Joy Boy close to Joy Boy level. All right, so we're not giving folks credit for not dying in One Piece, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. not doing Nobody that. dies anybody, bro. Nobody dies anyway, so it don't. He's like, hey, he got out of there, bro. Cobra got packed, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Yo, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? Cobra bro. You know what it's like, bro, because they already got Cobra out of there. Cobra's the one they wanted to get out of there. Sabo, yeah. on the other hand, it's like, yo, it's like they're on a fast break. They already found somebody, but he goes in for a layup, and he's going to jump around. Didn't know 
didn't even know they blew the whistle already. He didn't score any points. He just left. That's it. <laughs> they blew the whistle. There's no continuation. It's not an M1. I hear you. I listen. I hear y'all. All I'm saying is we saw how crazy the Gorosei were on Egghead. Imagine all of them transformed at the same time in a room. It's just you there by yourself because Cobra's in a wheelchair, and then you have Emu oh. on the other end that is the one that also transforms and attacks you. Like. Which character are we? Are we like? Let's be so serious. Like, which character is really making said, it out of that room? Like, he said like he that. came you know in there. So I gotta give Scott and he a little took, love. And he said, "What you bring him back? You <laughs> already did. Like, what you do that for?" He said, "Why you, <laughs> why you bring him home?" <laughs> Jumps by the five Gorosei plus evil, like yeah, escape her. Let's to get a hit. We're gonna talk about the Gorosei because the Gorosei really not that impressive. No, let's thank you, really talk about it, thank bro. you, Jay, let's thank you. Talk about it. The oh my God, trash. thank you. Like, to, to talk, talk to Rob, it. please talk to Rob. They are trash. You got Chopper. You got guard point Ooh, Chopper. Yeah. <laughs> you got I'm, 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 like I'm just like yo. And then what is uh, what's 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 the worm Shy Halud from Dune Two? What's he doing oh, with the sucking up air and blood? He ain't doing nothing. Bro, but that had giants though. But Jay, that had giants. Giants were like, the giants oh, were trash too. Oh, <laughs> know this. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, I got a whole camp. I have a dissertation about this. The giants, the only giants that have done anything of note is Dorian Bragi, one Hakoku sovereignty on a ship that was already defeated. That was just free eats. There's no, there's no feats. The biggest giant feat we have to date is Hydrudin going extreme diff with Mach Vice. You mean to tell me that's something that we really want to be proud about? There's nothing to be proud about. Doll was piecing <laughs> up Omo and Kashi. Piecing them up. Ro right, in, in, I, Rob, I in Rob's mind, he thinks the girls, they went all out. Emu went all out. And they, they filled they up transformed. the room. They transformed. Like pure Conqueror's hockey. And all of a sudden, Salvo gets credit because they decided oh my to God. go to their extreme heights. No, and I they, said they transformed. Like, like Y'all funny as hell. I had to go. I, almost, I dead ass almost threw up. Y'all got to be like, that was funny <laughs> as fuck, bro. That is fucking crazy. He said he brought Kuba back. He's like, why'd you bring him back? He already yeah. dead. What the fuck, bro? I'm fucking dying, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> Jay, I agree with you on the Giants, though. The Giants, I'm with, I'm with you. The Gorosei, hey, listen, hey, I saw Warcree's oh Conquerors. Warcree's Conquerors is, is, is it's it was clean. Warcree the hey. only one that came, that came out with some credibility and, and yeah. Gandhi as well. You know, the only one? No, no, no. He said say nah, Ethan too. I think they all sorry. That's what I think. Say Ethan arguably has the best sport in the series. Warcree all put in work. The worm ain't do much and Saturn was a disappointment. That's that's how I viewed it. But Saturn is a disgrace. Like Saturn was... Bro, it, like, he went, they went in that, present. there were old men just smashing computers trying to figure out how to turn the broadcast off. They could not find the off button. Like, that shit is sorry. They is all, and then, first of all, if I'm a member of the Gorose and they just send me to go do one thing, and I end up being like, if I, if, it, like, imagine you're the Gorose, you go to the island. You're there to complete that one mission. Then, like 15 minutes later, you call everybody else like, I need everybody to come. I just, I feel like I'm getting fired if it takes five of us to get there and do some shit. And then still, like, nothing happens. That's why uh, Garling came in and took his fucking spot. Emu was like, so let me get this straight. I sent you to handle this, and you had to call in everybody, and the broadcast still didn't get stopped. Everybody knows the world is sinking. And I felt Joy Boy's hockey. Bitch, you're fired. You are fucking fired. Yeah. And by the, I think I think the Garling uh, move was an upgrade, by the way. Oh, I think for Garling's sure it gonna, is. I believe gonna, he got hands. I know he does, yeah. actually. He's going to up. Yo, Jay, how you feel about your cousin dying, bro? My cousin? That's a Saturn, crazy. Bro. Oh. Oh, 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 that's bro. crazy. That's I was about crazy. to say that's a crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that was <laughs> so, so, that was too like nonchalant too. I, had, I was like, yeah. hold up. <laughs> I was like, cousin, nah. So that was my former grandfather who I disowned publicly on stream. We've disowned him. So like, as far as I'm concerned, it's pack watch. It's pack watch. That's it. Oh, got it's like up. you know sometimes sometimes you know so you, so this is yo you can get this out. Uh, goofy if you want this is a crazy thing i'm about to say but you know how and what jay had to say was crazy so crazy that the footage was destroyed and no trace of it can ever be found again the group went their separate ways that day rob continued to defend monkey d dragon unsuccessfully of course larry continued to get seb in trouble with his crazy and chaotic agendas many of which were deleted from this video for the safety of all involved and jay continued his slanderous campaign of one piece characters until there was no one left to glaze or tear down no one knows what happened to goofy that day he just disappeared 
disappeared until one day he returned, called all the same people and asked if they wanted to get together to make another video. And everyone agreed. They all met online again and put on the same clothes as the last video so that they wouldn't confuse the audience. And hopefully, Jay wouldn't say any of the crazy shit he said that made us all go our separate ways. I'm with Big Lincoln, bro. That's Yo, if you really do look at Egghead, though, Egghead is just a bunch of old men not knowing how to use social media. That's all it is. That's why I, everybody was talking like, like fucking, um, I'm so ready to see the Gora say get there. I was never impressed. They all pulled up and immediately, that's when I clocked it. I got there. I like, was like, live on Facebook. I clocked it immediately. I was like, all y'all need to show up? Oh, they're going to be sorry. Either they're going to be so sorry but actually, there's no way. I knew when all of them showed up, they had to be sorry because if there was really like bout, bout shit, it would have only took one of them. That's how you scare all of the audience to taking them seriously. The second all exactly. of them were on Ed Head, I was like, oh, they all, all of sorry. Them up, I was like, no, we're done. And no, they lose done. the DreamWorks Iron Giant. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Iron Giant showed up. And they was like, <laughs> bro, he had Joy Boys hockey, dog. That's so do you, crazy. Do y'all think the Holy Knights are going to be stronger than the Gorose? That That's come up a few times. I don't personally. I but yeah. I think one, they better be. They have to be. They literally have to be. I, I think they'll have better technique. I think they'll be better fighters in terms of power. I don't know because they got that Majin Buu Mickey Mouse regen thing. So it's That's just like, all right, well, how strong are you really? Or are you just regening a bunch of times and wearing people? That's what. That's what I'm seeing here. Like again, Warcry's the only one that I saw, and I'm less like, all right, this guy's res gear five punches with Rio. This guy's toxic. But like Marcus and his little hyper beams, I don't care about that. Gandhi got swordsmanship. At least, at least we saw something there. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. Shy Halud, get him out of here. And Saturn, like, what did Saturn actually do? Like, what did he made do? everything worse. He just bullied a little kid until she went to turn Super Saiyan. That's what he fucking yeah, did. And that's he literally like, all he did. And he got like a, he got like a Mickey, a Death Wink or something, like a Mickey Mouse Death Wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he has acid. He has acid too. But I think the biggest Saturn feat to me is like he stopped Sanji from moving, which is like, that's that's critical. I'll but like. You know, I, like when I look at the, but that's not critical, Larry. That's that's. Sanji was sandbagging, bro. Not I'm really. Because it could be like a, I'm telling you. I don't think any of them was like trying as hard as they wanted to like for a, some reason. Like I don't a, know why they didn't, but it could be like a conqueror's hockey mixed with like whatever emu's power or the devil fruit that they had mixed in with it, and Sanji just couldn't move because he couldn't outwill it. Itself. Yeah, you know I don't. I don't think that. I think Larry's right. That's, I don't think that was conqueror's crazy. hockey. I think it's like. I think it's like an actual power that they have. Like I don't think that's like. So you think that's his devil fruit ability? I mean, yeah, it's something. It's or not. Emu's power, like, that they gave him. Like, we don't know what the fuck's going on with them, but I do not think any of them have Conqueror's Hockey. I don't, I don't actually don't believe it, to be honest. Or if they do, that wasn't what stopped Sanji. That's all I'm going to say. Didn't they say Warcry no, was using it? Warcry, yeah, yeah Warcry, you know, they, they confirmed Conqueror's using it. Well, was that the official because... release or was that the scans? I don't believe it either <laughs> way is why I was, is what I'm saying. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I did he, he, did, he, did the, he did the Conqueror's Hockey roar. And oh, yeah. that's what, you know, yeah, it was like the... Well, the, I, think the, the, I think what Moogie's trying to get at is that maybe because their powers are borrowed from Emu, they are taking on directly Emu's Conqueror's Hockey through the powers that's given to them. That's, so what, that's smarter, yeah. So it could be mixed in with their own wills. And this has been like a theory before, because Devil Fruits carry wills themselves, they also may carry some type of Conqueror's Hockey within them too. So it doesn't... It, it's not completely out of the, the, the zone of thinking like, oh, yeah, this could be something that the Gorosei could possibly do just because of Emu's power. So I agree. It's not confirmed. But we did see that Mars, didn't Mars use Conqueror's Hockey in like regular human form at one point? I think it was Mars. There was another Conqueror's Hockey Blast because there was the time It was that... Mercury and then Mars. It, was those were the only two that really showed Conqueror's Hockey. And then Saturn. It was but Mars. Saturn's appearance, they they commented that it might have been Conqueror's Hockey. Conqueror's, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. But I think they all have Conqueror's, honestly. But when he was doing it, he was already in his hybrid form. So that's where Mugi's also, like, not wrong completely. But regardless... But Luffy, bro, Luffy couldn't even hurt Warcry. We we just got to bring us all back to Dragon just sucking, right? Like... He should have been at, on Egghead. That's what I kept thinking. Yo, that's what I was saying. Yo, I, for I, me, I wish he was. I'll tell you yeah. this. The Joy Boy hockey thing was a good, like a cool moment, but that was Dragon's moment. Dragon needed to show up and save Luffy and show that he's truly the person that Rob wants him to, that we all want him to be. The person that goes directly against the Gorosei and the Celestial Dragons and says, yo, I'm here to take you out. Therefore, back the hell up. 
you're not taking my son out because I have knowledge that he's also joy boy. He's going to be what, what what's going to conquer whoever is at the empty throne. Mm -hmm. That was what I needed from Oda and what I needed in One Piece and what I needed from Dragon. Instead, we got three chapters with three separate panels of Dragon giving us oh, really? three separate dots. Looking three separate... Yo, I, I couldn't stand it, bro. I was so frustrated. I didn't even want to talk about that piece of the chapter because I knew people were going to be like, yo, Dragon is so cool, yo. Yo, you cooked Dragon so much, Rob left. Nah, nah, I'm still here. I'm still here. My, <laughs> my, cam, my cam overheated. I'm still here, though. Damn, I, I said bro. it at the beginning of Egghead. If Dragon don't do something... Moment, man. If he don't do something on this arc, in this arc, I'm selling my stock. So I sold him, bro. And I think that's what everybody's so frustrated about is that everybody wants him to do something and once he does it we will be satisfied we will turn to compliments instead of complaints no. and we will legitimately feel so much better about the garp and 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 dragon and luffy situation because at this point yo dragon and garp is what luffy like like luffy is supposed to like luffy's going to accomplish both of their dreams at the end of the day you know what i'm saying like he he's the guy that they're supposed to be and Dragon, at this point, is getting so overshadowed by Sabo that I don't have any interest in seeing Dragon because I know Sabo's going to do what Dragon isn't going to be able to do anyway. See, I and I, I actually do understand a lot of those criticisms, Larry, but my position is still that, like, I feel like Dragon is moving that way because he's already been on that side. He's already been a part of the Marines and the world government. So he knows that... The right way to take them down is you have to be more calculated because the Marines and the world government are calculated. You can't just go in there doing whatever you want and hope you're going to get something out of it. So what he did is he said, all right, let me organize an entire uh, a group together called the Freedom Fighters, turn into the rebel army. And he's like he he understands that there's a bigger mission. That's why when Blackbeard, that's why you remember when Burgess exposed their uh, Baltico, which was their first headquarters. He exposed it, and that's when they were like, all right, you know what? Let's get up out of here. Because in Dragon's mind, it's, we have big, there's a bigger mission. We can't waste our resources fighting the Blackbeard Pirates. Let's keep moving forward. Let's keep moving ahead. We have a bigger fish to fry. That's the way I see Dragon. So it's not like I don't understand your criticisms. I'm just saying Dragon, it seems like he's moving with the perspective of there's bigger fish to fry. I can't, I can't afford to have any of these small fight, like these little smaller fights. Now I do agree that he should have been there at Egghead because I wanted him to pull up to Egghead. But in the panels, he was listening in on the on the Vegapunk message just like everybody else. I'm sure if if Dragon had an idea that you know Luffy was there, he would have pulled up. But nobody knew what was gonna happen. Like Egghead was really caught the world by storm. The Vegapunk message caught the world by storm. But after he, Dragon heard that message. Dragon was like, "Oh, okay. Now it's time to now it's time to move." So, Dragon think... should have been on his way when uh, our boy called him and told him that he wasn't gonna make it, bro. Straight up, he don't spin for nobody. He, should, he don't spin for nobody though, and that's his problem. But he can't. But, but hold on, my bigger problem with Dragon's whole like objective is that okay, if you do happen to take the Celestial Dragons out, mm -hmm. what do you do after? Because most of the time, that power becomes a vacuum for other people to take over and you never know who that's going to be. So do you have a replacement for the Celestial Dragons? And if not, how do you plan to change the power dynamic throughout the world? And I feel like that, like he should even give some type of like exposition as to what that's going to be like. You can't just take out a world leader and then replace them with nobody. We need somebody to be there because ultimately the Marines are just an extension of the Gorosei. The Marines aren't the actual problem, and he knows that. So, okay, so tell us what's going to happen after. I'll say Oda's a good enough writer that he, he, he identifies that at the minimum <laughs> that's going to have to be a talking point or some part of the conversation. Hold on, hold on. We'll I just want to – Rob was like, I think he's working on it. I was like, man, that was the most political answer I've ever <laughs> No, no, but, but, like that, but I have a – have well, a well, Moogie, that's what, that's what yeah, Dragon yeah, is. Rob is like – I know. Dragon I know. is in politics. Just, nah, bro, Rob is in a suit on the no, corner. Like people no, are asking I'm, what yeah. Dragon's tax policy is. He's like, hey, he's working on it. Just vote for him. It'll no, I'm saying that's what. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dragon is fighting a political battle. 
So his battle is different. That's exactly what I'm saying. You said the right yeah. thing. Yeah. He's fighting a political battle, right? They're seizing, like, what is it? Tequila Wolf, uh, all the other bridges, the major bridges. Like, there's a bigger battle going on that's just not just throwing hands. That's what I'm saying. Like, Dragon is, you know, like, that's the only reason why I don't kill him for not being on the front lines all the time because there's a, there's a political war going on, you know? That's all I'm saying. I get it, though. I wanted him on Egghead, but I'm just like... Who do you There's guys think he needs to fight? Like, if you had to block in one person to fight Dragon, who do you, like, really want him to see him fight? If Sabo doesn't fight Akainu, then uh, Dragon would have to. But I think Dragon should be fighting, you know, the Holy Knights. Like, I think, you know, obviously Garling was there, but we don't know the rest of the Holy Knights. But I think Dragon should be in that fight. And personally, I want Sabo to fight Akainu. Yo, Jay, Ska. I got a question. Who Stop. you respect? Who you respect more, Dragon or Zef? Zef. I mean, I I'm, I it's I assume obvious. it's hard for Rob for some reason, but yeah, I would say Zef. <laughs> but there's no obvious. reason. I don't, I don't know. know. Who else? Yeah. It's like Zef. Zef just he's the he's the father that showed up. He's the father that stepped up. He ate his own leg for someone that's not even... He just met the little nigga. He's the best. Ate his own leg. Hell on. yeah. Best father in the series, as far as I'm concerned. You ate your own leg. <laughs> you know Boy, what I'm I, I don't know if I would do that for <laughs> yeah. my own son. That's crazy. That's, that's what I'm saying. He's that is definitely a better father. The father kid dream. referenced his dream <laughs> one time. And wait, you know what? He he, he worthy. I'm going to hold He's it worthy. down. Yeah. And the crazy part is he ended up being worthy. Imagine Who, who would imagine Sanji would be as good as a cook? The leg was worth it. That's actually crazy. That's beautiful. That's actually true. That's leg, so crazy. When you think about it, the leg was worth it. Because every worth day Sanji so does something, and he was like, the leg was worth it. I'm glad I gave up my leg for it. It's Dude, the same I'm, way I'm Shanks watch. talked about Luffy. Do you know what I'm saying? But can you Fast. say Kuma? Like, hey. The, R the ROI my not girl there died. The you ROI know, my... is not there for Kuma on Dragon Stocks. They're not there. He That's took L, bro. But Kuma, why yeah. Kuma trusted Dragon, bro? I'm saying... Kuma put the faith in Dragon the way that Zef put faith in Sanji. The ROI is hitting for Zef. It's not hitting for Kuma. For right Kuma. It's not Bro. Yeah. He lost his girl. His daughter got kidnapped and abused constantly to the point where he had to basically come from the dead, punch Saturn to save his daughter. Dragon knew about all of this and he's still looking east. Even I at the end of Egghead, you know what he did, bro? He got up and walked and stared at the ocean, bro. I'm telling you, I just started monologuing. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life, though. Yo. Hey, man. Yo. That was funny as fuck. He walked out there and he was like, it's probably about time I did something. Then, then we never it's saw him again. <laughs> and we and never saw him again. He didn't do anything. Yo, to bring it full circle, I, like, I agree with y'all. Mm -hmm. Usopp, Usopp, if he had Dragon as a father, and who, like, if he had the choice of picking who would be his father, Dragon or Usopp, he picked Yasop, bro. Just because Yasop has done more, in a way, than Dragon has. Larry, stop. See, this is why. This is why I'm Damn. saying this because you don't know what Dragon is, bro. What, what Yasop is doing more than he values what Dragon's doing yeah, Dragon in general. Doing, what about the four? What about the bridges? What about uh, all all the all the, the bridges things that, that are not complete? Yo, but that's but that but <laughs> these, these, stop, stop these giving are her thanks for having information, bro. I know <laughs> it's. I just think I think what at least my problem is like Dragon's a I'm person a playing chess. And then Luffy like steps up to the chessboard, punches it, and then just like I'm gonna just keep crashing out. And he's making more progress than like if the story continues the way that it is, I would have to be really pissed if I was Dragon because Luffy is making it farther on his revolution by being a reckless idiot than he is by being tactful and patient. Like I lost my shit when the fact that they didn't go get Jenny, I couldn't believe it, and the fact that like. Like, like, cause Kuma's got the yeah. that that crazy devil fruit power. He can just beam in into wherever he needs to and beam out. Like, but I guess like everybody convinced him like don't do that. Like, I just I couldn't believe it. There's no way like I, I still think about that. Like, just crash so, out for one person. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing: is like he doesn't even because a lot of people like, oh, Dragon can't go. He's the leader. I get it. He doesn't have to go. Give but, a speech. Rile up the troops. Like, yo, man, we can't let one of our own yeah. go. Somebody go. <laughs> Two, you could call two niggas, just one or two. You ain't just even gotta one. use all yeah. of the resources. Just two niggas go <laughs> find Jenny. Kuma's girl is gone. Instead, what does he say? Go where the winds take you. 
Boy, I'm telling you, I crashed I would have been hot. Down. If I, I was Kuma, I, if I was Kuma, I would have been hot. If I'm Kuma, like, bro, I would have I would have swung on it, bro. I'm what does that I mean? <laughs> no, I, listen, listen. <laughs> what does that mean, Dragon? No, no. <laughs> what are you saying? Bro? What are you saying? I agree with y'all on that hundred percent. All I'm saying is I think we may get a drag like just how we got a Kuma backstory, I think we may get a dragon backstory that's gonna like explain why he couldn't do certain things. Because I feel like Dragon, like I said, like because he's a leader of the Rev Army, like he's move, he has to move in a different way. Just like how the Fleet Admiral. That's why I always say, I said we can't praise any of the admirals for what for the decisions they make, and then we see Dragon not making the like Dragon making similar decisions on the opposite lens and saying, "Why aren't you moving?" Because we want Dragon to be Garp and Luffy, but I feel like he can't. That's the only thing I'm saying. So I agree with y'all. I I wanted him to get Jimmy too. I did, but it's like. He could. I just want him to leave. He I just want him to leave. To. Yeah, just leave. Don't even gotta move. Just leave. Sit at the desk and look like you do us. Yeah. No, but you know, but, but Jay, you know, if they go, if they go to save Jenny, right? That that's declaring war directly on the Holy Land. That's that's before they. they and at that, no, but I'm declaring war. I'm about, I'm about to say, like, I think that's already happened. First, honestly. <laughs> but no, but I think about the bridges. But bro, I'm saying, I'm saying that's <laughs> premature. Like Dragon is building up because at that time, I believe that were they still the Freedom Fighters at that time, or the were one. they just, huh? Listen, bro, at they weren't. They weren't fully the Rev Army yet. At least Akainu shows frustration that he can't go out and do his thing. Dragon don't show any frustration. He just sits there and looks, bro. He's bro, like... Jenny got clipped. All that baby, all that. Next time he saw Kuma, he said, "Yo, you want beer, bro?" <laughs> We we Yo. got well. We just went to Tequila yeah. Wolf, bro. It's popping. Yo, <laughs> we got tequila and tequila. We got tequila. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> see, listen. If he if he wasn't if Dragon wasn't a member of the Marines before he became a, a leader of the Rev Army, I would I would be like, all right, let's kill him. But I feel like he knows like this. There's, there's more to him. There's more to him because he used to be on that side. He used to be a part of that it's camp. It's going to be a good enough reason for Yo, you to believe in his inaction, Rob, bro. the fact that he was a part <laughs> of the Marines should know, he should know how trash that organization actually is and that it doesn't take that much. <laughs> to it doesn't, bro, it's the Marines and the world government. That's why he knows about the Holy Knights, right? I bro, feel he, like Dragon, he, Dragon he is saying- one move and now they can't get food, bro. Cause the way <laughs> when you put it that way, that is kind of crazy. See, the, like, you would have just did move. something sooner. Oh man! Now they can't eat him. The same, the same reason he didn't go save Jimmy, I think, is the same reason he left Baltigo when Blackbeard was on his way there. It's not that like he doesn't want to. It's more so like he can't afford to to lose resources on the bigger goal. Now, does that make him? Does that make him a piece of you know what? Of course, at certain times, but as a leader, he feels like I have to be that that I have to be that guy in order to, you know, for the betterment of the world. Like people are gonna hate me until we accomplish the bigger goal. So Dragon's taking that route, right? Garp and Luffy are opposites, right? And that's what Seb was saying. Like we we are more accustomed to seeing Garp and Luffy. Garp was like, yo, I'm gonna go save Kobe. Luffy's like, I'm gonna go save everybody. But it's just Dragon is seeing that that approach, not not uh it might not necessarily work against the world government. There's more to it because there's politics, right? Luffy and Garp don't care about the politics. They just care about the hands. Dragon is the one that cares about the political side. That's the only reason why I'm like, there's a little bit more that he's dealing with versus Luffy and Garp. They, they don't care about all, politics. That's all real and that's all fair. You're asking me to care and to respect it. And I'm like, I that is tough. I think I, you know, <laughs> okay. what, would, what would help me <laughs> if if I this would this would what would help me if he was doing all of this on purpose because it is a political thing and because he knows he can't be in any position of power because he's the mo world's most wanted man. Like no matter what happens at the end of it, the, like society's narrative of him is already like what it is. So it would help me out a lot if he was purposely staying out of the limelight, not doing anything so that Sabo can be actually who is the person that actually has like some say so in political nonsense. The whole time he was behind most, if not everything, but he was always planning for Sabo to be the face of it because he knew as the world's most wanted man, he could never actually be the face. I think if it happens like that, I think I'd be cool with it. I think I would forgive almost everything. I think you're, I think you're, you're, you're kind of getting warm on, on like, you know, 
the idea of what dragons why are you has, you, has why you talking like you already know though that's what's cracking me up like rob is like i think you're getting warmer <laughs> moogie i no, think no, 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 you're no, no, getting no, no. closer I, to the truth i already know i'm just saying I'd i'm say, just saying those, these I'd are the vibes that guess. dragon is giving off <laughs> the vibes that dragon is giving off is i used to be on that team you know my dad is still there my mm. son is a, a pirate this is the direction i'm going to fight against the you know against the establishment i'm going to create a counter establishment so because of that he has to do he has to deal with the political side you know and that's why i feel like he's not on the front lines just wilding out like luffy's the person that's just wilding out on the front lines it's like he's doing it his own way he doesn't care about you know doing paperwork and, and, and uh, any of the politics he just wants to be free dragon's like i gotta do this through the political route so that's why like we kill him because it's like yo you know like think about it think about it in real life like how many times we we hear about politicians? We're like, bro, I feel like this politician is not doing anything, bro. Like they're saying they're doing something, but they're not doing anything. Like Dragon's dealing with that on the counter, right? Like he's uh, he's the he's the counter stab like to the establishment. So that's why I feel like we should feel this way about Dragon, but there's gonna be an explanation for it. It's what I think. I could be wrong though. Dragon could just be he could just be ass like you guys are saying, but I feel like there's gonna be actually. No, I, I think we all he know that he can fight. fight. I think the frustration is that like when do we so this that's another question. It's like when are we going to see him? Like when do you guys think we're going to actually see him lock in the fight? Is it an Elbaf? Is it I thought it was Egghead, bro? I thought Egghead that's was a good I, yeah. I, I wanted it to be Egghead. Egghead well, yeah. There was a prime time. What Larry said was perfect. If there is a time for Dragon to show up in any capacity. Mm -hmm. His homie Vegapunk. He talked to Vegapunk a bunch of times. He brought Kuma to Vegapunk. Facts. Kuma's there. Bonnie's there. Kuma actually just crashed out, left to go to Egghead. Mm -hmm. So he's already, he already knows where we're going. There's a whole broadcast. Not one iota of movement. Like his main enemies are the girl say. His direct enemies are the girl say. His son is there. Kuma, Bonnie. There's so many reasons for a revolutionary to be there. For him to not be there in that moment, it's like, all right, well, when is it going to be? Right. Because now we're asking, okay, now when is it going to be? Because narratively, it had to make sense. Dragon being there at the end, I wouldn't say at the beginning, at the very end would have made perfect narrative sense. Just to go in and go out. Because we saw him at the beginning, though, too, in a flashback, didn't we? With him, where he was, uh, they was in the O'Hara flashback. He had like flowers and he was talking to Vegapunk. Yeah. That was an egghead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It yeah. was a good yeah. setup yeah. then. That brings it but to everybody's mind. You know where Dragon. egghead is, bro. What's even crazier? Can you imagine? Like, can you imagine? I called you on the phone and was like, "Yo, I think I'm about to die, bro." <laughs> and you were like, "Word, <laughs> damn!" And then That's they crazy. broadcast it live on TV, and you watched. That's the same problem I got with Rayleigh. Bro. That is crazy. Crazy. Damn. I don't, I don't no. think Dragon knew that that Kuma was going to Egghead though. Like, he was like, "Kuma, where are you going?" And then Yo, the, second, the second Kuma popped up. He should have been like everything in his power to make sure Kuma teleports him to Egghead, bro. Whatever. Right, 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 right. But he didn't know where Kuma was going. Oh, after him or something. He didn't know where Kuma was going. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If, listen, think. if Dragon knew Kuma was going to Egghead and sat there, I'll be like, yeah, kill him. Like that's but, crazy. But I just you know, you were like, yeah. nah, he had to value so and so and such and such in the, in the mission. Bro, and you I know, think, no, no, I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I, I agree with y'all. I said I think the the best time for Dragon to pop outside was Egghead because the world government was literally there. Like the Gorosei was actually there. But I'm so saying I'm Dragon, saying, Dragon found out on the outside like everybody else. You know, like if he didn't know about it. My big brain prediction is going to be that Dragon ends up being the white beard that Luffy needs to fight the world government and this huge the war. Crew, right? The, right. The, the fourth. And the thing is, even though I I feel like 90% that's going to happen, I don't like how it's set up. Like, I don't mm. feel like he's deserving of that mantle at the end of the series where he's the, the person that's going to be full-fledged going after the, the Gorosei and going after the whole Marines and the world government itself. It, it's like, yeah, if he was yeah. built up better to that point, then I would mm -hmm. understand and be so much more hyped Ooh. for it. But now it's just like he's being shoehorned in and we just have to accept it based on the fact that he has a lineage that's connected to the main protagonist. What if it's the and opposite, like, though? I don't feel like, that. I don't feel connected. I, I can't agree with shoehorned in. He's been here a minute. He's been plotting and trying to do all this stuff all this well, time, like Rob well, I'm, I, can't, I, I can't agree I, with shoehorned What if it's the, the well, opposite, so I, though? I'm what if Oda side, wants so. us to think that he's just doing nothing, but then later on we see flashbacks of him doing small things 
outside of the camera's view where he actually facilitated a lot of things that happened and like he just never had this like Oda just never showed us like what if he's been doing things this whole time and Oda does like a like a tiny montage to show that he's like been there this entire time but he just stayed out of the the public eye. Don't don't retcon Dragon's too. importance. Bro. Yeah, I don't, think that's bad that. too. I think that's bad. Well, too. I'm saying, it, what if it's not a retcon? What if it makes sense? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What yeah. if it makes sense? If like, it it's not sense. a retcon. It's like, there's things that we don't, like, there's plenty of mysteries already that we don't know, like, what's going on, right? So what if Dragon's involved in the things that we don't know anything about, and then it would have been obvious if we had more information. But, like, you know, like, the, the, the rules for a good, like, good foreshadowing, basically. Like, if it was always in view, and you could have figured it out, like, f beforehand, like, what if, you know, what if, if he's doing, if he does something like that, I think I would enjoy that a lot. That's all. So this is how it's written with kuma right kuma is yeah. basically what you're asking yeah exactly for, yeah to, to make for dragon but the right. thing is kuma during the entire series has had an impact to some degree he mm -hmm. saved the straw hats exactly. at sabaody archipelago right yep. he did you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? literally then he decided after becoming a cyborg to protect their straw hat ship that's true yeah. dragon has had none of those feats even close to it to give him mm -hmm. that credibility. And even if it's this late in the game, it's like, what would he have done? Mm -hmm. It's I like- it, That has made an impact on Luffy's journey. What are we, what are we, what would be, what would we, what would we be accrediting to him right now? Like he gave Buggy the idea to kill Marines? Like, I don't the, know, yeah, I, I, I don't have an example, but- That shifted the tectonic plates of the world to this degree. I couldn't say. That we're we're impact enough that we're like, oh, okay. Like, did he create the warlord system? Did he convince people to, to vote against the warlord system? Like, what is the thing that he did? What were, what were you about to say, I think, Jay? I, I saw you coming in. You were about to oh, say go ahead, something. Go ahead. I don't remember what I was gonna say. I'm not. Uh, gonna, you probably were just. Know. You were probably <laughs> just agreeing, like vehemently. It was. I was agreeing. I was agreeing yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Larry was talking about how the, there's a difference between Kuma and. Uh, and. Uh, and Dragon. Oh, Dragon, that's what yeah. it was. I remember now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like, yeah, we Dragon, we. Uh, Kuma, we already liked Kuma. We liked Kuma off rip because, I mean, to be honest, man, I'm a, I'm a religious man. So to see him pull up and throw the bark with a Bible, with the Bible and start yeah. folding everybody, yeah. like <laughs> mercilessly, ruthlessly, it was toxic. There you then you go to Sabaody and he's doing the same things all over again, just from a standpoint of a cool character, right? Yeah. We already had enough from Kuma. So the extra stuff we got is like, well, we already liked Kuma. He was cool. Now Kuma in the people's top fives, top tens, or favorite characters in the story, right? That's what it did. With Dragon, there's nothing for us to really latch onto besides potential and one-liners and maybe some maybe some lore that people are talking about. Oh, Dragon did this, and he's the most dangerous man yeah. in the world. But he's not. We haven't seen him do anything. What like, they latch onto is the trope of the anime father, the protagonist's father. That's what's la that's the yep. latch, which to me is like, I'll never care that you somebody's dad, bro. Like, hold, hold on now, Seth. Remember what they said in in Marine Ford when when Luffy was showing out, they were like, "Yo, remember this is this is the son of Dragon," and yep. everybody, what Larry? I'm lying. Don, Don Chinjaro everybody conquers hockey, bro. You know what I'm Here saying? Here he go. Like, Here he go. Oh like, my goodness. It, it doesn't matter what Von Kopp said regarding Congress hockey and whatever else is, bro. Like, Yo, bro, you got it, bro. Your limit is less than others. Do something about it. Listen, I expect great things from Dragon. I'm just saying you want me to be excited about him and it's not happening, bro. Not based on what I've seen so far. If it, if it makes sense. It, it can very well be we get a trash backstory on Dragon and then, yeah. you know, he's a watch character. I just um, I, I just I, think yeah. I, I would I be blown away sense. if Oda moves in that direction, though. That, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Moves. I do have faith that yeah. he's not going to waste it. I do, however, share in the sentiment because it's, it's just kind of sucks that every time he's in the manga, I don't believe anything he says because I'm like, you're not going to do anything, are you? And he just doesn't <laughs> do anything. Like, that's kind of like the effect... So I would like, like, aren't we on like a break for the manga? Like we're about to be at least, like it's about to be a break. Yep. Yeah, we have a chapter this week and then we're a two week break after. Oh, only yeah. two weeks? Oh, sweet. I thought it was way longer than that. Okay, sweet. Well, two weeks. I hope, cause I already know, like I haven't looked at any of the spoilers, but I just know Dragon's not doing anything in this chapter. I don't need to look at it. I, just, I know it in my soul. He's not even in it. I know he's not. And if he is, he's not doing anything. So I hope when we come back, I hope Oda does the same thing uh, in Elbaf like he did in Egghead, where periodically we go out into the other world, see what they're doing, see how they're getting down, that. and I, mean, I need I Dragon to do something. That's all I want. Like that's that's all I'm saying. To bring it back to Usopp, I think that's all I want for Usopp too. I feel like 
I feel like Usopp would be disappointed if Oda created a situation where he didn't do anything in Elbaf. Like, I think he would be really disappointed. I think Usopp would like that, man. He, he Hell afraid no. To no, no. He fake happy. He fake happy. No, no, Usopp, no, no, Usopp like, no, no. Usopp's like, listen, if I can make it out of Elbaf alive, you know, I'm happy. That's Usopp. No, nah, I don't think so. I think because he was, uh, in the last chapter, he was like, please be Elbaf. And before that, and, and actually yeah. I've got more in Egghead, when the giant showed up, he was being he was being a little scared. But then, as soon as the giant showed up, he locked in. I'm not gonna pretend like he did anything with that lock in. Okay. But okay, he, there we go. I'm not. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna pretend like that led to anything. But his attitude changed. His personality changed. If he had the opportunity, or if Oda created like a situation for it, you know, maybe we would have seen it. I do think it's kind of sorry that we don't have any like you know. The only thing we got from that was him locking in and like, the, you know, talking brave and stuff like that. When just next to him, we got guard point chopper, like defending a strike from the Gorosei. To this day, that is crazy mm -hmm. to me. It makes all of the Gorosei mm -hmm. that much more sorry. And honestly makes Usopp, it doesn't make him look that great either. He should have did something. But I'm hoping that Oda saved all of that from Wano and Egghead to just let him like, I hope we get heavy Usopp focus in Elbaf. Like, I hope it's just him, Nami, mm -hmm. and Chopper just lost somewhere for a couple chapters like they need to shine he needs to shine Yo, there's a there's a big chance that we might find out that usopp might be uh part of the giant lineage that would be so funny life. that would be so there, funny. there's like a there's like a couple telltale signs throughout it that it it may happen but it's a far-fetched theory but it's it definitely is possible but with that, even with it sounded like Croco Mom. Like we, yeah, yeah, it sounded like Croco Mom. Yeah, I don't think it would be like you know. It'd be I don't know cool. if I think he should still because I really like the fact that he makes giant friends wherever he goes. Right, like I like I want that trend to keep up, and I want to see him actually go head to head with the giant. Like I know there's the Loki theory. Um, which, I mean, I don't know, that doesn't necessarily need to happen. I just need to see him, because I know the character wants that. Like, Elbaf means something to Usopp, so if Oda doesn't deliver, I think that would be a really cruel thing, because Usopp would be the one most hurt about it. Like, we would be pissed, but Usopp would legitimately be hurt if nothing happened for him on Elbaf. Yeah, he has to turn up this trap, this arc. He does. Or the, or the trial had to get Yamato. See, that's 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 Rob's agenda. He wants them to drop Usopp off at Wano and just pick up no, Yamato. I, no, 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 I'm not saying you gotta go. drop Usopp off, but it's just at this point, it's like Luffy. Like I would want Luffy to be like, "All right, Usopp, we know what you are. You know, this is. I know at max power, <laughs> that this sounds is what so you're disrespectful. Give me. We, uh, yes, we know, but it's facts. We know what you are. We know what you are. <laughs> that, it's facts. We know like, what you are. That you know, it's so like you put Usopp in the game. We're gonna get. You know, we're gonna get one for eleven. You know what I'm saying? Three rebounds. You like, I'm about to say, you sound like you're talking me out of joining like a 3v3 basketball game. That's what you're saying. It's like, listen, Moogie, what? we know what you are. 11 and three rebounds, sit down. bro. It's just, like, we know what we, we getting. Know we, we know what we getting. Just, yeah, sit, yeah, just yeah. sit this one out. We're trying to win this one. How about that? We'll get you, we'll, we'll, we'll get you in next that time. That one better have won the game, bro. One for 11, three <laughs> rebounds, bro. <laughs> like, we know what we get from Usa, bro. We know. So I, I want, but I say this all in jest, right? Because I I really do want Usopp to, to show out in Elbaf. Yeah. Like I want him to get a power boost. I don't care, like if it's future sight, because we know he has observation hockey, that would be lovely. Um, Like Jay said, get rid of the pea shooter, get a gun in there, you know, maybe a bow and arrow, something. Like, it's about time, you know, I think. Crossbow, crossbow, yeah, crossbow. Ooh, like yeah. something creative. That's cool, that's Yo, nice. Yeah, I like, like, that. Yeah, I like something that. nice. Something nice. Right. This competing with Van Auger right now, bro. Like as much as I yeah. want to, like well, hold on, Larry, let's like, let's get this straight though, because no I agree fear. with you, Larry. But the Blackbeard Pirates are sorry. All no, don't all they do oh, they is jump sorry. people. So, they are sorry, but like Van Auger in yeah, comparison, to he's people, definitely oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's leagues different. Is it's there like a is there sure. like an archer or some sort of sniper esque like lore figure in Norse mythology? And if he's supposed to fight Van Auger, like Larry said, he just he's outmatched right now. Maybe yeah, a matchup with another sniper on Elbaf, potentially. Maybe some sort of competition, archery competition. I don't know, something to level up that sniping capability. Something to highlight it, to let us know where he's at right now. Cause there's, like a, there's like a god of archery and hunting called Ulur. There we go. Who's up fighting that dude? Yeah, I mean, I I think I'm I'm just looking at that. That looks cool. I try not to get too deep into like, cause I love a good One Piece theory. My problem is. 
Bro, I know Oda is watching and laughing his ass off at how intricately people do stuff. You remember when everybody was thinking that they were hallucinating when they were on Elbaf because they're all the, the 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 discrepancies and shit like that? Oda with the whole time was like, y'all stupid as fuck. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you. I'm saying this. I'll be saying this to people all the time, bro, right? So because I'll be saying this all the time. People get so mad at power scaling and agenda and all that. You're not following the narrative. You're not understanding Otis. <laughs> but then these niggas be lying 24-7 <laughs> on all of their right. crazy theories. Right. Oh, it's Scott's absent. It's all this. It's yeah. this. Remember, remember when Gear 5 was supposed to be Resin and that was like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. that shit. I remember yeah. that shit, Jay. Yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah. Bro. This obscure like, ass tree bark theory, bro. I'm, what bro, is I'm telling you. I'm like, what story are you reading, bro? Like, what are nah. you reading, bro? I'm, and these, and these, and these, and these the people that be on Otis tip the most. These mm -hmm. the same people coming up with these theories. With these same <laughs> theories, like, these yeah. in-depth theories. They be having the anim a a like in animation depth, and shit. Bro. Like I'd be like, bro, like Twitter threads, everything. Yo, bro, so like, deep into it, and I'm like, all right, yo, cool. I remember you couldn't tell a ZKK person that wasn't happening. That you bro, bro. You, bro. Hey, you were evil. You said, oh my god, that shit <laughs> that was hilarious. Was cool. That yo, and me, and me, my bad. Me and Sebastian solved the abstinent theory. So you remember when uh, Kaido was going to go to Marine Fort? Mm -hmm. Kaido had no battle damage on him. Shanks had no battle damage on him. Shanks has ties to Elbaf. So Shanks probably gave Kaido, who drinks absinthe, <laughs> and it deterred him from going to Marine Fort. He thought he was in Marine Fort. He was just high as shit. Mm -hmm. That's it. I bet I can't that, get that off. he went to Punk Hazard you can't and get he crashed off, out bro. on Yo, Punk it Hazard. Makes sense, though, bro. No, it Shanks does. and Kaido top five, man. He in his top yeah. five, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right. Down. Clash beforehand. I'm just saying they ain't had no definitive win loss. I think that's Shiba. actually like that's a good like see I like theories like that playful and you could totally see that happening like the ones yeah, that go I mean, in depth. I don't like a theory that can trap me and make me believe that's the way the story has to go. And then for Oda to come out the next chapter and prove that I'm an idiot. No, but I, I do like, I want to see, cause I just feel like if Shanks like takes in weaklings like into his grand fleet, how much of his actual crew can fight? We know Ben Beckman took kid's arm, but now I'm starting to think that's cause kids are just sorry. I feel like, like maybe because like the thing about, and not just sorry, right? It's the fact that he, I've never seen someone like that is sorry like that, right? Try to crash out on an emperor back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to like try to fight Kaido and you got like Luffy, all the straw hats, you got Law, you got all these samurai. And then to leave and immediately try to crash out against Shanks. I just, you that you more than just sorry. You stu That's just dumb. I know Shanks was confused. He was like, why would you? I'm not going to cape for kid, right? I'm, I'm not, but I am a little bit. What y'all expected him to do? Just be a bitch and be out? Yeah, turn around. Yell from the oh, distance. Man. We'll get you Dude, one day. You basically say, yo, either you my bitch or not. What's up? Like, you can't. Like, you feel me? I pull up to this island. Your people attacking me. And then you tell me, give me your shit or get folded. What are you, you supposed to just leave? Like, Seb, the problem away? with that is that it's, it's, that's when day, that's when keeping war. it real goes wrong, Seb. That's what I'm it's saying. If it was me, why are you tired if you're gonna dip off in that situation? I think it. I no, think, no. I think it's reasonable. I, that it's bullshit. Easy. I know plenty of pirates that would get the fuck out of that situation immediately. I know I plenty of pirates. Worth his salt that would dip off in that situation is Blackbeard. Yo, but it, say, hold on, hold on. You acting like Kid couldn't just fight Shanks one on one and maybe survived after because he earned Shanks's respect in order to probably join his crew after. Instead, what Kid did was, he didn't just crash out on just Shanks, yeah. he crashed out on individuals that were not even a part of what and was that's happening. And that's you why I don't got no sympathy for him. That's, that's no, why- Those ships that he attacked were attacking his ship. And they were in Bruh, between him and Shanks. Was he supposed to be like, hold on guys, don't hit me. I'm trying to get to your captain. Uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? Could have tried to. Is he an idiot? Yeah. Is he weak? Sure. Whatever. But the thought process that he is trash for defending his ship and trying to like I don't I don't I don't subscribe to that. Yo. Is he trash? Sure. Whatever. But that's not why, bro. He lost to a dude stronger than him. And I listen. I'll say it all the time. I don't knock folk for losing fights when they fight above their weight class. That's me. I'm never gonna disrespect you for that. If you find a dude who's stronger than you and you lose, cool. 
I just feel I'm like okay with that. there's no reason for you to get in the ring with Brock Lesnar. And that's what he just did if, of his if own Brock volition. Brock Lesnar just called me a bitch. Like, he was. He didn't about? though, Seb. He didn't. I, I he guess, didn't. I, I he, feel like I guess I'm a bitch because I ain't fighting Brock Lesnar. That's what I'm saying. You first of all, you just gotta learn to take. First, first of all, you gotta yeah. learn to take the L. I ain't you know, falling for that. Bro. If Brock Lesnar came up to me on the street, said it like, "Hey, Mookie, you a bitch," I'm gonna be like, "Okay, sir, have a good day." I don't give a fuck. I truly do not. Is Brock Lesnar? Look at him. I'm just peck, pecks in your face like that, I'm going to be like, I don't know why you're so angry, but I'm certainly not about to fight you in broad exactly. daylight, Brock I'd Lesnar. Be like, yo, see, like, I say, Brock, there's something wrong because you looking at me. Exactly. You just There's something internally going on for you to call me a bitch. Like, exactly. I do nothing to you. Jay going to try to take him to Sunday school. He's going to be like, you need to work through that, brother. You got, you got. I'm going to take him to church. You I going, said, you need, yeah. yeah. You need a little bit of the Lord. You, you got to, you're too bad. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not mad. Why am I going to try to fight Brock Lesnar? That's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. But I will say this. I just looked back. Yo, they openly said to King, yo, chill. Like, you're not going to pull up on Shanks. And then he was like, yo, I'm in the new world. I'm going to do what I want. And then Shanks immediately after tells all the ships to move. And they start moving. And then Kid goes, F that. I'm attacking everybody. And just... Basically That's what I'm saying, you're like Seb. Your analogy, in like he, what if, what if Brock Lesnar called you a bitch? I was like, Shanks never called him a bitch. Shanks was enjoying drinks at the bar, and then the some chapter. lunatic showed you're up. At the, you're at the chapter where Shanks actually, where kid actually gets hit, or the chapter before, when he shows up and realizes Shanks is there. He shows up in the same chapter and realizes Shanks is there. No, but the, there's two different chapters. There's two different chapters. The chapter where kid gets hit, and the chapter where he shows up to the island are two different chapters. I just feel like if a nigga took my arm, I'm not going back to get it back. Is what I'm is what I was trying to say. I, I don't. I'm not going back, Seb. Is my point. I'm still. I don't like. I, I still don't see the logic. I'm going straight to. You went out to... like it's me, whether y'all respect him or not. Well, hey, just... hey, Moogie. You know who you sound like though, kind of. Who's that? That guy, Monkey D. Dragon, man. That First, guy, Monkey D. Dragon. All right. If he lost an arm, you, you it may be. You leave. You leave the battle. Hold on. You. You. I'm just saying. You don't fight the battle because you're trying to win the war. You know what I'm saying? So you just you back out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You you don't go to you don't you, you know you know you don't fight Blackbeard at Baltigo. You know what I mean? Because at the end, you know what I mean? That, that, that's a dragon move, Loki. That's what I'm saying though, if Luffy was in that predicament, he crashing out. He's not going the same way. He's not taking all the subordinate people out. Probably, maybe not. Whatever. But he's not gonna run from that fight, bro. Luffy yeah, is not. Well, he's, he's not gonna run from the fight. But he's not gonna target the weaker ships the before he gets to Shanks. Because I, because I respect and glorify these folks that are willing to crash out for what they want. Mm. I can't be inconsistent and be like, yo, what kid did? This? Did you say glorify for crap, bro? <laughs> he can't kid, glorify. Kid, it on business. He lost. He took an L. He's probably he could be dead right now. But he stood ten toes in it, and I respect that. Yeah, no, nah, he did, he did. But now he out. He had a commission. How about to say That's like, the there's a time and place. Sometimes you don't have, you, gotta, you know what I mean? You don't the have anybody fighters, on your crew that don't can... become the Rev Army if if they crash out. Exactly. You you don't have anybody on your crew that can stop you from doing that either. Like Luffy would have had somebody be like, hey Luffy, we can fight, but maybe let's not. Maybe let's do it this way. Maybe let's not. Every single straw hat would have been like it's up, except Usopp, and maybe not. Damn. They ain't gonna shoot the, the weakling ships. Though. And then also, well, if it, if Pusubin and Luffy's bad, because obviously they got they history, the it would never it would never happen that way. I like they just got history. Out, man. If it's in the way, it's in the way. <laughs> I don't know. Let's imagine like a different like would Luffy crash out? Luffy would crash out the same way. It's just you know he's not sorry, so that wouldn't happen that way. Is I guess my point. But I could see you know standing on business. I guess I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. You lost your arm. Maybe, maybe you should beat an emperor one v one before you think you can beat the emperor that took your arm in a one v one. Like, like that's what blows me. Y'all beat Kaido and you jumped him the whole time. Nobody really beat Kaido. You, no one should have confidence. Not even Luffy for real. Like, no one should have the confidence to challenge another emperor of the sea immediately. They jumped everybody there. They even jumped Big Mom. So if I'm kid, actually telling dudes to stop pirating. Cause it's not worth. You don't gotta pi nigga pirate over there. Anything. Just pirate over there. You don't have to pirate right in front. Just pirate over there. Go to the island next to where Shanks is. What the, the fuck? You don't have to. Determines where you go, bro. You ask it dudes to defy the, the the physics of the series to not go to islands that certain uh. folk be at and avoid damage and avoid fighting. And yo, what we what we pirating for then? 
Uh, we need we need hyperbolic time chamber. That's yeah, what we need. They dead ass did need that. Emperor over here. Because he met Emperor over here. Him and, and Law. Emperor him and Law. And Law like, like Kid and bro. Law got so like they were like, listen, we we're we're like we're just as good as Mugiwara, so we're gonna challenge an emperor like and see how that goes. And that's and that's what happened. Both of them got exactly what was gonna happen to them. Like they were so, all. That was right though that they were being shot at, but it does state that they were the they were lazily shooting at them meaning they were trying so, to deter them from coming to elba so it wasn't real and it was only one ship i feel you i feel you end of the day you buck shots at me i can buck shots back did it end poorly for me yeah mm -hmm. you belong but on the kid pirate Seb. You i don't know my car. <laughs> you ain't shooting and hit my car and i'm like ah oh, well they shooting over there but would you would you call captain kid a, a good captain Considering Hell that no. he got his whole crew Hell no. okay, 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 Hell okay. No. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. If you want to stand on business, that's fine, but you got a whole crew to look out for. They ended their entire run oh, because wow. he thought that he could like no, nah, don't don't do that. Listen to me. Hey, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You got a whole crew to look for look out for it, so you can't crash up. He, he set you up. He, he set did. you up. He I don't did. know why y'all on. He set y'all up. Bro. He was waiting for somebody <laughs> Yo, to say that too. I, I that, boy, that boy turned that Yu-Gi-Oh card over, and Mirror Man, Force came out. He was yeah. too happy for that. That was he flipped that. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm more loyal to Dragon than Zoro is to Luffy, bro. It's crazy. Yo, I can't. He got. <laughs> Well, that's that's about. I guess let's do closing thoughts. I know Rob got to get out of here, go to a con and shit. Let's just do closing thoughts. Where are we? Rob, I, I will admit you've given me, I, I will cut Dragon some more slack. I'll give him 10 more chapters. After 10 chapters, I, 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 I truly cannot give him anything else. I gotta, I gotta come back up. That's what I, no, you got 10. You got 10. We don't, I feel like 10 is too generous. I don't know, but that's, that's how I feel about Dragon. What is everybody, uh, did Jay, did he sway you at all on Dragon? No, he didn't. No. Damn. Damn. Yo. Yo. No, that's what Larry Seb, y'all still on Dragon? Well, I mean, obviously, everybody's still on Dragon. You got me, though, Rob. I, I, I'll i lease up on him for 10 more chapters, but. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I didn't say you got to like him. You know, but nobody doubts the man's ambition. That's the thing. Nobody doubts what he's trying to do is probably the second hardest dream because the first hardest dream is Tashigi's dream in One Piece. But oh know, yeah, to collect all the swords is that what her dream is? Yeah, you. She oh, yeah, that's hard as fuck. She not getting all. The swords. <laughs> she's not getting all the fucking she swords. Can, she can get she some. No. She, she can like she place the orders. The nah, it's too hard, bro. She no. she <laughs> place the order. Dude, yeah. I can't. It's on back order. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like yo. Eventually, we're gonna have to respect the man, and when he does do something i hope we all embrace it enjoy it and find the middle ground that we've all been waiting for and if he does it you know exceed our expectations riding wise wise that's just going to be better for all of us as the consumers of this media so listen i hope for the best but if we don't get the best i expect people to be real about it especially people like Rob. that's it that's all i'll be i'll want. be, I'll be real will. but if that's dragon it. is up I don't want to hear the switch up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I got my dragon stop. You're going to be talking That's head. Thing. That's what I, I can you see it now. Rob's going to be like, oh, dragon stops are up this week, I see. Yo, where Larry at? Yeah, where Larry at? Where Larry at? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. This is what Rob tries to do, though. Rob tries to convince you that I am against the grain just because I want to be. No. If dragon ain't doing nothing, that's it. He just hasn't been doing nothing. But I still hope he does something. It's not a switch up. It's just, mm -hmm. yo, I'm not going to give you credit when credit is not due. That's it. And this is where, like, I don't get Rob because he's such a Shanks fan that he's, he thinks this way about Mihawk. Like, he'll think Mihawk because he hasn't done anything and he's supposed to have this title and supposed to hold all this, this, and that, that he's not actually there, but he'll do it for Dragon, though. Well, what I would say to you is those are two... No, 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 not, not at all. Because those are two separate characters in two different, com completely different roles, completely different situations. Mihawk is a lone wolf, right? He's supposedly the world's strongest man. He was a warlord. They literally said, yo, warlords, come together in Marine Ford. We need your assistance. This is what you signed up for, right? Mihawk goes there, right? Battles Vista, right? He doesn't even, he tries to get to Whitebeard, right? And, and his attack gets intercepted by Jozu. So there's a lot of times where we see Mihawk and we're like, yo, 
you're supposed to be that guy that's stronger than Shanks. You should be going crazy. You've had multiple opportunities to show us that you are Shanks tier or stronger, and every single time you folded. So now yeah. it's like, oh, okay, you look like you're a fraud. What I said for Dragon is Dragon, like we were just saying earlier, he's in a different role, he's in a different position. He has to deal with politics, so he can't just crash out because he's a leader of an organization. Mihawk didn't have anybody to worry about. Who, Perona? Like, come on, like, he is, had nobody to worry it's about. It's crazy, we've never yeah. seen him fight anybody. He's supposed to be the Yo, strongest no, 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 swordsman. Well, that on, is actually on, crazy. Movie. This is where also Rob starts making excuses Oh my because God. he, if he's as strong as he is, and he had all this firepower, and Blackbeard wasn't in his prime just yet, he should have just took out Blackbeard and just kept Baltigo. Like that was an opportunity to show your strength. Well, well, the Baltigo thing was more about the location of the the headquarters. Nobody knew. Even... Nobody knew the location except Blackbeard's crew, bro. That's it. But now that they, they know some it, snitching ass. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. No, but they now, that they they know, now that they know it, we don't know who they've told. You can't risk that. It's, it's a political bro. move. That's all I'm saying. Politics. I'm not, I'm not as great as you say I am. Bro. <laughs> politics. No politics. politics. <laughs> For real. Politics. That's dragon. When I think when I hear dragon, I think politics. That's why I, that's why I kinda I kinda separate him from the Luffy and the Garp and the you know, politics. Yeah. When, when do when do you need to see a move, Jay? When do you need to see us something from Dragon? In the next fifteen chapters. Next 15? Damn. Okay, so that's more generous than me. All right, cool. So that's, oh, you know. Oda, cook, please. That's what I'm cook. about to say. You you for real got you. That's what I'm saying, Rob. You was, you was cooking. I, I I am listening. I still wish that he would crash out, but I understand the po political side of it. I'll give him 10. Jay's going to give him 15. I guess Larry and Seb just kind of, they, they, they done with I'm him. You're giving him 100. Yeah, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to put a number on it. I'm not. Y'all just right setting yourselves up for additional dragon disappointment. I'm, I'm not doing this, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's, different. it's different. I'm setting myself up to slander him again. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's a different. He said that's it's a different. different mentality. That's it. It's a different mentality. I'm marking my I'm calendar to story. talk shit. That's what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's it. I'm just not here for the story. I'm here for. I told you this is not about the story. It's not about reading comprehension. It's about the agenda. That's it, bro. That's oh all. Oh my gosh. Around. Listen, when we slander a dragon, it's because he ain't do nothing yet, bro. It's not. It don't need to be all this additional context. Yeah. It don't need all this. It does make the slander more potent, though, if music. it is. <laughs> that right thing ain't there. moved. It's potent. And when you move, if he act right, we go rock right with him. To bring I'll take that. that. To bring I'll that, then. I got a good example for you, Rob. When LeBron mm -hmm. didn't win a ring, they was cooking him. We all thought he was going to win a ring eventually, but he ain't do it yet. <laughs> then he crashes out against Dallas. They tore him up for a year. Yo, people forget the LeBron crying meme. They forget the no ring memes with LeBron. We can't even imagine that era no more because he's bro, won so much. But back bro, then, Jay, bro, LeBron Flander was sport. It was I miss that it, era. Bro. I'm a Knicks fan. Yeah. That was my I favorite. I miss that era. era that, was, said, that was my old bro. That was the <laughs> Until 2016 happened. That was the best you could get. And then you want to be yeah. all, I beat the, the Warriors, and it's like, all right, now I got to show love. Yeah. What, That's why I miss yeah. it. So, yeah, 3-1, that, that 2016 Warriors, that was 9-11 for <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it, bro. <laughs> it was yeah. slow down, bro. No. I <laughs> Listen, man. I'll, I'm not gonna, I'll, say, I'll say 100 chapters like Larry. Cause I don't expect him to do anything in the next yeah, chapter. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I see it. I'm gonna expect the same. Oh. We're in Albaf, and Albaf could last like 150. Years. I was gonna say even beyond that. Over under dragon appearances in 2025. I was gonna set the line at like seven, and I feel like that's probably too high. That does seem pretty fucking mm. high. <laughs> high. Go cap. Yeah. seems high. Overall appearances. Fuck. He don't even gotta say anything. He don't even need the dots. Dragon think... on panel. Seven. Seven and a half. And I'll, I'll tell you this, it's because Shanks is going to become more involved, and we're going to see more of Shanks because he's been so desolate throughout the whole story. So it's like, that panel time is not going to Dragon, bro. The Holy Knights are probably going to make their move. We need considering Black stuff. Emu, Emu's on we, edge. We so. need Shanks stuff. We got Cross Guild and Marine stuff. Dragon fighting for his life for screen time. Yeah. Well, then, let, I guess, to close the thoughts about Usopp. I guess I'll just say I believe in him. I think he's going to do something in Elbaf. Do we have a time period or a time limit on when we need to see him do something in Elbaf, like as far as chapters go? One chapter. One now. chapter. The next chapter. <laughs> the we next. Elbaf already. That's we true. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> every, cha every chapter Usopp yo, doesn't do something yo. is a day I will slander Usopp. Yo, no. That is a commitment yo. I have made. Yeah. Every yeah. day. We about to have, you know what? Chapter? 
We I am making this. Is eternity <laughs> for you? I'm, I'm going to have a counter at the top right of my stream, and I want all of us to do the same thing. Days Usab ain't done shit. And I yeah. want you to put 10 years. 10 years as the starter. Hey, and then keep adding it. No. Reaction, bro. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fair. But, damn, I, didn't, I did not expect. Everybody's like, now. Nah. Honestly, he's late. Like, he needs to do something already. He needs to do something. That after is crazy, right. bro. Bro, we what here. We are at Elbat. That God. by the end of Elbet, whatever, whatever, however long it takes, by the end, if, yeah. if, if the if the arc ends and I'm still disappointed, in Usopp, I'm done with his character. Yeah, I I mean <laughs> I think all of that is fair. I just, J Jay's is just crazy. That's a decision to hate. Like that is, <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, uh, listen, bro, what, Rob, Rob's is crazy. Rob he said, said he said one, one day, chapter. one day we're, 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 we're on Elbet. But twelve yeah. hundred yeah. battles for Dragon. <laughs> that is crazy. But Drag, Drag, you don't no, got no Drag, patience for I feel like Drag, Dragon's done stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's done stuff. I've done more than Dragon today. <laughs> Front to Rob. What does Dragon <laughs> have on you, Rob? What do you, all these answers got me. It's like, Dragon's, Dragon's done stuff. He's got a he plan. Has. Don't worry. Like, I just, no, no, who no, no, does no, Dragon see, have on you? No, no, no. no you but, work for but him. Boogie, see, Boogie, the way Larry is reading One Piece, he just thinks that, like, all the Rev Army people are just moving out and, and Dragon has no idea of what's going on. He's just like, all right, guys, you guys do what you want today and we'll figure it out. Like, that's what he did. It's pajama uh -huh. day at the office every day. Yeah, like, he's not, he's not drawing up plays. <laughs> he doesn't fucking bro, he do it. He's the office is crazy. Yeah, whatever. Oh God, you whatever. Play do whatever you want. <laughs> you, you seen him with the clipboard? You seen him draw a play out, bro? I, I seen him, I seen him train Sabo. Who, who, who's no, no, I was about to say, no, actually, I've seen him. I've seen, I've seen him say I've seen him. I don't know. Kuma and Kuma. I was about to say, actually, that was actually Hack and Kuma. Sorry, dude. I didn't actually see Dragon in and there. Don't hit with the name of the attack because King's and, uh, attack is named after Kaido, bro. He ain't trained King, bro. <laughs> Stop it, bro. That's true. Stop it, bro. King, so Queen, Jack, all my attacks named after Kaido. Stop it, Jack. Okay. Okay. Saba, right. Saba don't have a dragon claw. My fault. Yeah. Listen, My that's out of right. respect. That don't dragon wasn't there. The dragon dragon wasn't there. Dragon wasn't there. Literally at the. All right, y'all got it. He too busy. Y'all got it. Hacking Kuma. Kuma, 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 Kuma is the reason why Saba. Hacking Kuma is the reason why. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Y'all got it. <laughs> y'all got it. I better see. I better see Hack go crazy. I better see Hack go stupid. Y'all. Yo, the four, everything Naruto do gets credited to the fourth Okage ass niggas. Fuck out of here, bro. Nah. Uh, yeah, Naruto put the pain in. I mean, I don't believe in that. I, you know what I do like about that? When Naruto did meet his dad, he just stole one off on him. Like, what the fuck was you thinking? Putting a demon That's inside me, you motherfucker. <laughs> from Usopp. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, That's what like, I need. Oh, what are you doing? That's what I would really like to see from Usopp, too. Just the, just, it gotta be some type of anger there. I truly do. And you know what's... You know what's funny? A little parallel to what Larry said, like Naruto cussing out his dad. Like, you left me with the third Okage. You see how he treated me, bro? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> look yeah. at that. And it's no, like, yeah, yeah. Saying, well, you left me with my mom. You left. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. Mom has five years left. Yeah, 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 yeah. You fuck. Oh, man. You left me with mom. You know she wasn't a good mom. You know she wasn't a good mom. Larry was right. Y'all was buying out the bar. Y'all was buying out the bar two blocks away, man. Out the boy. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I love the the, the third Hokage. Really, they, they, the Naruto had to get ramen, ramen from the ninja commune on Martin Luther Ninja Boulevard. That shit was crazy. <laughs> Martin Luther Ninja. That nigga. Boulevard. I've never yeah, been. Yeah, yeah. This is completely off topic. Y'all throw too much shade at the third Hokage for that. That's on Jiraiya, yo. It's on both of them, but it's third Hokage Jiraiya, specifically it, said I would raise Jiraiya, him. Yo. He is Godfather. Well, uh, neither of them really are, are worth shit. But I'm just saying, like, if you, I know Kakashi was confused. He was like, "Isn't, isn't, doesn't my nigga? He's you are royalty. What are you doing? Why are you living in this one bedroom, an apartment? Like, what? Like, no one told you that you? I, wait a minute, hold on. Like, I know he had to talk to the third Hokage. Like, why is he poor? Like, what is going on? And <laughs> drinking expired milk, bro. Yeah, drinking like, expired. That shit is sad as hell. The third Hokage. You see Sasuke? Like, Sasuke got a little living pain. like a king. He was bring, he was bringing up all the guinea ninja. Just like, come on, girls, yeah. come on. Just, just chilling in his bachelor pad. Meanwhile, Naruto is just thankful to eat every single day. That's crazy. When Uchiha's be crying about the discrimination, Naruto be like, "Hey, man, 
Yeah, I ain't get that Jinchuriki discrimination, bro. Nah, Naruto. I was struggling. Yeah, Naruto got a good heart, though. Oh, God, like, I just, I was, every day I think about it and how, like, the Uchiha, like, really, like, I understand, okay, discrimination. But then when I really think about it, I was like, you really wasn't discriminated that much, to be honest. Like, knowing what real discrimination is and shit like that, what, they made you the police? Nigga, you should. <laughs> all right, the, you should have ran with that, you stupid bitch. Like now, you should have. Like you don't understand what. What if they was the police? And then they was. You know they, what I'm saying? They so were, they were all capable of being employed, having good benefits. I hate to say it, but that's what I'm saying. I hate to say it, but the second Hokage, I know when he was brought back, he was like these uppity ass Uchiha. I can't believe we gave you niggas everything. I made you the oh, the man. leaders of the Leaf Village Police Department, and this is how you a coup? Yo, oh, hell no. I'm glad this happened to you <laughs> like they were still redlined though we go like they wasn't yeah they was redlined. Oh, yeah, there, was, was, redlined. Redlined. there was injustice hey, redlined is crazy there was injustice to be he fought they didn't but... get good loan rate they didn't get no they didn't get, no they didn't get i don't yeah they didn't get <laughs> yo no, but yo. They, they lived it was economic it was economic, it was economic. but they, they, oh, even yeah, their, their, their side of the village looked rich though like that's the other thing like i was like i get it like it's still like there's some injustices but like a coup? Y'all just want to... All right. I don't know. I just... I don't know. We go leave it there, I guess. I can't... Ooh, man. Yeah. That was oh, funny as fuck. Out. Yeah, you do. But yeah. fuck it. I appreciate you guys a lot. Man. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we got it. I'm going to probably, I guess, cut it right before we got into all that. I don't know. It was funny as fuck. Wherever yeah. we cut it, but... Um, like I said, I appreciate you guys. In the beginning part too, because you know they be wilding. I think Seb docks me one time. Yo, y'all, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Crazy. I gotta go through all Seb, this footage Seb to make sure. Yeah, Seb gave me oh, my address. I docks Rob too. My it's crazy. Phone. Yeah, you might have to just. That's, that's, that's why I didn't yeah. do this live. All right, guys. All right, y'all. Yeah. Peace, y'all. Jay, talk to you Peace. later, bro. Always good seeing you. Yeah.